is the Glass Cannon Network. shows start feeding the audience wine two and a half hours beforehand this is great you know it's good for your heart drink a little wine so my dad says two bottles a day the doctor says two <laughs> bottles a day how we doing shy town <laughs> look at us all dressed up for halloween ain't we cute huh <laughs> Who is everybody? I don't know who you are. No, I know who Me you either. are. No idea who she is. Who, who are, are you? you? I don't know who you are. I'm Coach Beard. <laughs> Any Ted Lasso fans in the audience? I mean, a little slim, but yeah. A little Coach Beard action. I needed a costume that would fly easily, leave me very comfortable on stage, and be no work backstage. <laughs> yeah, this, this fit nicely. And uh, Sydney and Kate, you guys have a tandem costume here. Let's talk about this. Who are you? Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Take that, audio listeners. Uh. Uh. Oh. 
we're both no face from Spirited Away, but um, like a like like a saucy version, I guess. Yeah, we're we're like the 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 skimpy no face. Sexy I don't no face. Sexy no face. <laughs> sexy no face. <laughs> this might be the first sexy no face. Uh, <laughs> Matthew, what about you? Are you a Mario brother? What are you? <laughs> I did consider being a Mario brother. <laughs> no, I am Goose from Saga. Ah! We, d- we debated, Sydney uh, and I debated adding the whiskers and the, like, the black nose to, be, to complete the anthropomorphic seal look. And then I realized I might have to role play Ethel's death tonight, which seemed like <laughs> a little bit in poor taste. <laughs> <laughs> too silly, too silly. Too silly. So two sexy no face, one Mario brother. <laughs> Goose. And uh, Skid, who are you? Well, I'm not surprised you don't recognize me. I am uh, our friend Jason Charles Miller. (laughs) Uh, Which you might be confused because normally when you see him, he's wearing that hat, that cowboy hat, emblematic of his hard driving southern infused metal that he plays. But if he takes it off, it's like this. Yep. He tucks it all under that hat. Yep. And he wears one of his own shirts. You just dressed as one of our friends. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Did anybody else dress up out here tonight? Any uh, Halloweeners? If anybody is cosplaying a, as a block of cheese, stay away from Joe. Wait, wait, what are you? I'm uh, Lloyd Christmas from Dumb and Dumber when they go to the... Uh, <laughs> what is it, like a fundraiser for snow owls or something? <laughs> yes, snow owls. Yeah. I always pick a really hot outfit to wear. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you have the most layers on possible. It's really too much. Uh, but I brought, like, Mr. Rogers, I can switch out of this hat to this hat. Isn't that nice? Oh. I'll leave this on for a little bit, though. Um, what city is this? This one is Chicago, Chicago! I Chicago! Woo! Il- Illinois? Illinois! Hey, Joe! Hey! hey you, know they, you know they call this the second city? I didn't know that. I thought it was the Windy City. <laughs> that... Is that what it is? We wrote this bit ahead of time. I don't remember the bit. <laughs> Line. Second City. That's kind of a braggadocious and sad, isn't it? You like to rank your city, but then not choose to be the well, best. Well, to just admit, you're like, ah, come on. Wait Let's be honest second. with ourselves. We're not quite there. What would be like the 26th city? <laughs> St. Louis, he says in the crowd. <laughs> Wow, you Shots mean the, fired the show that sold out in two nights, unlike this one? <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Well, they say cities are only as good as their sports teams, and so uh, this is uh, a couple empty seats out here. It's kind of like the Bears for the past decade, right? <laughs> you guys are just trying your best to fill the crowd, but you can't. Isn't tonight the anniversary of Mookie Wilson's uh, liner down the first baseline? You can cut his mic anytime he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Cut Luigi's mic. <laughs> I do enjoy that the only reference of... And you didn't understand anybody's costumes except for the ones that were before 2005. <laughs> You're an Italian in overalls. You're a Mario brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, a Matthew. Uh, no, I do. I, I love Chicago. I think it's my third favorite city behind Boston and New York. Uh, it's, a, it's great to come... We haven't been back here in two years. What is that? Uh, two years too long, Two Troy. years too long. Uh, it's good to be back here in this classy joint. I imagine there's a lot of first-timers here tonight. Any first-time glass, ti- glass cannon liver? Oh, wow. Whoa. Don't get used to these fancy places. We normally play places <laughs> with, like, vomit and stale beer on the floor. We just... We class it up tonight, but it's not always like this. Um, we've, uh, we always have a lot of exciting stuff going on in the niche, big announcements about shows that we're doing and whatnot, but occasionally... Uh, good things happen to us as individuals. Yeah, keep fucking talking. This is about you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I took... Sorry, I poured, we were very surprised by what's on stage. I poured what I thought was water and took a huge sip, and it was white wine. It and was I bubbly. Went, I thought it was seltzer. It's going to be that kind of party. So I was warning Joe not to do what I did, so cheers, everybody. You know what's always a good idea? Here we go. Well, I was full pint of Prosecco <laughs> and then cans of PBR. That always goes well. Well, while you and your work wife were giggling over here... <laughs> 
No, she's my work he's, wife. I'm, one, I'm Kate's work wife. I'm and coming two, for you, Joe. He's just jealous it's that we have fun. Polygamous work jealous. wife situation. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is occasionally we have announcements about what happened to us as individuals outside of the network, and we have some exciting news tonight. So please join me in congratulating Sydney Emanuel on getting engaged. <laughs> She's going to be a real wife. A real wife. And as Kate said upon hearing the news, your VIP after party line is going to be a lot shorter now. <laughs> a lot less dudes shooting their shots. No, 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 no. That was me imitating what I thought you would say. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Well, Just to be clear. Congrats on the engagement. Thank you. Uh, Matthew Thank you. wanted me to let you know if you get pregnant, though, we're going to replace you. <laughs> and I thought that was really inappropriate. I was like, man, Can't say from, that from Matthew. I think that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. You got to read the contract. It's pretty boilerplate. <laughs> Matthew texted me that immediately. Um, <laughs> no, but good for you. Um, when's the wedding? No I'm plans. Busy. All vibes. Um, so. Your gift is being on this show. Wow. Thank you. I have a fun band topic now that Sydney is officially off the market. <laughs> Go on. I was thinking about this today. I was like, what can we talk about? Oh, maybe we'll uh, piggyback on uh, no longer single Sydney. I'm trying to think, like, what's the slickest move you ever pulled off when you were single? <laughs> I'll start. There's no way any of us have slick moves. Zero percent chance. Just you wait, sister, because this one's going to blow your pants off. I was, uh, I was about to meet a, a young lady once for an OK Cupid date. I had a black belt in OK Cupid. And uh, we had been chatting for a bit, and I, I just had it down to a science at this point. I had this bar that was my go to bar. We were going to meet up at a bar in the East Village. And uh, she, she's like way late, late to the point where I think I'm either getting stood up or getting catfished. It was like kind of crazy. It didn't make any sense. We were chat, 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 and then just no show. So I'm like, well, I'm going to get a drink at the bar. I sit down at the bar, and as I'm sitting there, there's another couple next to me. Have I told you this story? I remember this story. So there's another, not couple, but like there's another uh, man and a woman on an online date. And so I'm just boozing and listening to them. And the dude is a total herb. He's just like very, very awkward, and I can tell she's not into it. What was that word? Herb. A herb. What does that mean? He's using it correctly. He's using it correctly. Yeah. Herb. It, he's a herb, dude. He's, I wasn't a, he's a kind of nerd. He's yeah. like a total Matthew. <laughs> That's mean. Does that make sense? I, I was just asking for a little help. <laughs> anyway, I could tell the date's not going well, and he's so awkward, and he keeps saying, like, can I walk into the subway after this? How about a... Hey, so do you want me to walk into the subway? And so at one point, the bill comes, and he actually says... Uh, do you want me to pay for this? Oh or my God. should we like maybe split it? And she's Ugh. like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't mind, we'll split it. He goes, all right, well, why don't we split it? And then depending on how the walk goes, then maybe I'll pay next time. I was just like, what is oh, happening man. over here? <laughs> what is he expecting on this walk? <laughs> uh, so at one point he goes to the bathroom and I'm like, uh, She's chatting me up during this whole thing, which is weird, because it's like, I'm sitting here, she's sitting here, and he's sitting there, and she's kind of like talking to me during the date. So at one point, he gets up to go to the bathroom, and I'm like, I think I was just stood up for an online date, and yours sounds awful. <laughs> so how about you skip that walk to the subway, and uh, let's go get a drink? And she was like, game on. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. It was nice move. It was amazing. I cannot tell the rest of the story, uh, but I will tell you that if you put a thousand people in a room with a thousand typewriters, you would never know how this story ends. <laughs> <laughs> but it was amazing. What okay. was your slick? Hang on, I just need to reflect move. on for a moment. All right, Herb, your, what do you got? The story of your slick, <laughs> the story of your slickest move involves you insulting somebody and stealing their dick. And it started off as you being stood up. I, that's true. I was like, oh, he's going to earn our sympathy now. I think I was catfished. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was pretty slick. Because she was like, dude, it was really slick. Don't let that get you down. Yeah. yeah. She was like, ah, you know what? I'm going to just walk myself to the subway. He was like, all right, I'll call you. 
And then we just went to another bar. It was awesome. A thousand typewriters. A thousand typewriters. A thousand typewriters. I don't even think I'd tell you guys backstage at the end of this story. Joe, did you, you were a real slick, single guy back in the day. <laughs> Do you have any fun stories about you slinging penis all over New York? <laughs> Dude, e- almost every single story I have is just embarrassment <laughs> and loss and no game. Oh. I have a lovely wife, so it all worked out. Well, I will say, all right, I'll give you a story. So I'm at my lowest, which is basically every date that I go on, and I'm online dating, and I suck at it, and I, everything's a first date, and it's awful, and it just sucks. And I'm friends with Troy at this time in front of the show, Dave Woody, who will both, as he said, have this down to a science. So the two of them were out. I remember we're eating wings and we're watching football. And they're like, you need to change your entire approach. And it's like straight out of a fucking rom-com. Like, they're like, you need to do these things in this order and do not let your uh, mind get in the way at all. Like, don't think about anything. Just like, do what we say. Like, okay. I'll try it, like, once, just to see. And it worked. (laughs) It was unbelievable. I went on this date. I had never, just never had a date go well, ever. And I go out on this date. I follow the list. There was, like, times. It was, like, 90 minutes in, you do this, whatever. You know, 120 minutes in, you do this. And you say this. I mean, it was word for word. And uh, it totally worked. I remember an ex-girlfriend at the time, who I'm uh, friends with, was like... I was like, look at this list. She looked at like the to-do list and she was like, fuck. (laughs) She was like, this is so messed up and absolutely works. And yeah, it it totally worked. And I I started like dating really well. And then immediately uh, I, I, you know, fell in love with the wife and she fell in love with me. And I still to this day think it had something to do with me getting a little bit of fake game. I think I needed to, to get over that hurdle. A little fake so. game. Matthew, you're so quick to throw stones <laughs> at the glass house of my past. Did you, were you ever a slick Goomba? <laughs> little shirt open with the chains walking Let's around NYU. Hey, who likes meatballs? I got two. I have... <laughs> Was that your move on dates? Hey, what are the extra My mama's gravy's here. <laughs> what? Oh. That's not attractive. Uh, I have no game whatsoever. <laughs> you should have tried that. See, if we were friends, I would have given you that. I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I remember hearing items from this list and being horrified. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, the, the way... M- the, the, the pickup, I guess, that, uh, that my wife and I got together on, is that, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we had a lengthy discussion about the naming of Santa's reindeer. Ah, oh. Wow, that's yeah. hot. I'm turned on. Wow. Actually, I am turned on. Oh. <laughs> Wait, was this around the time you started dating or like when you very, very first met? Because weren't you like friends for a while and stuff? She directed me in a show. Yeah. Oh. And then at the cast party, we were waiting for my, uh, my NYU-sponsored uh, Get Home Safe van. All right. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> and she was hanging out, and, I, and we just started talking about the reindeer, and, I, and we started talking about how they, you know, the names got changed. And were you like, a, a Cupid is a name of a reindeer, and <laughs> I feel like he hit me with an arrow tonight. <laughs> Oh, Kate. oh, Kate got game. Kate yeah. got game. No, I didn't think. I didn't think to make that connection. I be Cupid, you be Vixen. Uh, let's see what happens later. It's right there. It didn't happen that way. And then I went home and I res- I fit. And then the van came. And then I got home and I finished. <laughs> I finished our conversation on AOL Instant Messenger. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Were you like, hey? It was nice chatting with you in the get home safe van. You want to meet up and be unsafe? <laughs> what about you, Sid, huh? Any, uh, any last stories before you throw it all away? The old ball and chain to be. Yeah. Um, 
No, I I don't really have good game. I don't, uh, I'm not a big, I think I'm very friendly, which is why I have dated the people that I've dated, but I'm not good at flirting per se. In fact, I think I'm very bad at it. But one funny thing happened with my current (laughs) fiance. Uh, it's such a stupid word. Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. When... Miss Francie French lady over there. <laughs> oh, you speak French? Why, well, you speak English once in a while, huh? When, when my boyfriend and I were dating, we went to pick up food from this restaurant, and the hostess there, it was a weird energy. We, like, got in, we're like, hey, we're picking up this food, and she was very nice, and she was like, oh, great. Are you guys, like siblings or like date dating I kid you not the woe was a woe I was like what is happening are we is she trying to what is going on and immediately I went we're dating and he went we're brother and sister (laughs) (laughs) and it didn't stop her. There was like, it was, uh, she was unfazed, but it was very funny. And we had to like take the food and like slowly back away. She was super, super coming on. And every day we're like, should we go back to that restaurant just to, just to see? Is she still there? I wonder. But it was very funny. So I don't have game, but something about our energy attracted that. <laughs> Kate, were you a, uh, uh, a wild single? Um, yeah. That's a big eyebrow. Wow. Right? Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, it was a long time ago, and I don't remember any of those stories, so you don't get them, but I will tell you the one of how I met Michael, um, which is funny. You get to see my flirting game with that. Um, we met the old-fashioned way at a party. An arranged marriage. <laughs> <laughs> For Greek computer program. <laughs> Our parents had a lengthy negotiation. <laughs> Our parents <laughs> traded properties. Here is a cow for the dowry. We exchanged whatever. baklava. But, um... <laughs> We met at a party, and I had just been freshly broken up with, uh, against my will, from my boyfriend at the time, who was cheating on me. Oh, no. So I was ready hey, to... no. Boo! Who would cheat on you? I also like saying against my will. Yeah, that's <laughs> Start yeah. Doing yeah. <laughs> I didn't know he was cheating on me until a little while later. But anyway, so I was ready to, like, you know, have fun. So I saw Michael, and I was like... Bullseye. Um, you shot so him? So my flirting <laughs> was... You shot him. He was actually He's so to, angry about, about the cheating thing. <laughs> he was actually trying to flirt with my friend that night, but I was like, no. <gasps> so I followed him around the party, and every time he stopped talking to me and started talking to her, I like would hit him in the forehead. Wow. And eventually he was like, what, what? Oh, oh, she's cute. Oh, okay, I'm gonna talk to her. And then it worked, and then we made out, and then he came down uh, upstate for my birthday after he moved uh, to the city. And that's when I knew that he liked me. So I was like, he just moved to the city and I made out with him once and he's at my birthday party right now. My 21st birthday. Wow. 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 Um, That's how I flirt. That's whatever it is. By shooting people and then hitting them in the face? (laughs) By just being like, no, make out with me. (laughs) (laughs) And they're like, all right. right." It's like elementary school love. (laughs) And finally, Skid, uh, any, uh, any wild stories from your wild days? Well, unlike the rest of you, my girlfriend watches and listens to this show, so <laughs> I don't have any stories that fit the criteria. But I could tell the story of when Nick Lowe hit on Kerry Russell. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great story. That's a good story. one. <laughs> so, Nick Lowe, this is like the first month that we knew each other. Was hanging out in Central Park with another couple friends of his. And he sees Carrie Russell, like, sitting under a tree with another friend, one of, one of her friends, I guess. And uh, <laughs> he was just like, you know what? I'm going to shoot my shot. Fucking Nick Lowe. Typical. So he walks over there, and he's just like, hey, ladies, hi. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, what a lovely day, isn't it? She's just like, yeah, it's all right. It's just like, you know, uh, I hope this isn't too forward, but uh, would you like to maybe get a cup of coffee sometime or something? And she said, uh, so it's like, well, it's very flattering, but... You know. And he said, I totally get it. And he walked away. And he, and he, and he mimed an airplane crashing as he was walking away from her. And his friend said that she was laughing really hard. 
I mean, I bet it perturbed him barely at all. I don't no. Didn't, didn't affect didn't him. Didn't even put a hitch in his day. He's going to hear this and be like, oh, yeah, completely <laughs> as, forgot. As I've said before, it must be a great time to live in Nick's brain. It is. It is. Always. Always. Well... I guess, suppose we should live in the brains of these characters. <laughs> these doomed characters! These doomed characters. You guys want us to play pretend? I said, do you want us to play pretend? That's pretty good. Yeah. All right. All right. Um... We'll play your game. I'm going to do the quickest recap in the history of recaps. I'm going to time you. Joe won't even have hit the music by the time I'm done. We've been playing this adventure now for many years. (laughs) And we'll continue to play it for many years to come on the road in various cities every single month. No one has ever done this, nor will ever do it again, including ourselves. See you in St. Louis. (laughs) Yeah. The entire story revolves around a man named Count Hazerton Lyles IV. Remember that name. Over the past few years, our heroes have discovered that this man is trying to bring a god from another realm into the world to then destroy the world and make him king of what's left. Lyles has been infected by this outer god and will stop at nothing to find the knowledge to make this happen. In the pursuit of this knowledge, he brought two of you into his employ, used you up, and then brought you into the dreamlands to have your memories erased, threw you into an asylum, and went on with his life, went on with his studies. Months ago, you woke up in the asylum and over time have discovered what Lyles is up to and recently got your memories back as well. You have been tracking Lyles in his journey far south from where our adventure began. And last month in Boston, you found yourself outside of the home of one of Lyles' associates, an alchemist by the name of Myacnian Munn. This is someone who we know, via flashback, was very interested in getting to know Skid's character, Aldo, when Aldo was saved by Count Lyles after being enslaved by Knowles. This is how Aldo came to work with Laos in the first place. So our heroes go up to the door of Mun's house and knock on it. An angel knocker spews acid in their face. But then a man answered the door. Aldo's memories are still a little fuzzy at this point, but he is certain this is my acne in Mun. The man is very polite, but something seems off. He apologizes. He's like, I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm busy building something for the Talden Navy. Perhaps you could return tomorrow. You know that uh, something isn't right here, so you barge in. This man then goes berserk. When you defeat him, he unravels like a mummy to reveal that he's completely hollow inside. It is an alchemical construct known as a hollow one, made presumably by Mun in his own image. So, you begin to search and ransack the home. You find a study with some maps of the inner sea region on the wall. One map noticeably missing. Then you enter a chamber full of books on taboo alchemy with a staircase going upstairs and a hole in the center of the floor overlooking a lower surgery below. So you take an elevator down to the lower surgery. There are three stained glass windows in this lower chamber, which is odd because they wouldn't catch any sunlight underground. On each window is a different depiction of an angel sticking its hands into the body of a hospital patient, a shining light erupting from its wounds as the patient's face is frozen in ecstasy. As you look about this strange laboratory, a creature pops out of an alcove, a mass of vats with syringes and needles for fingers, and it attacks you. One round into the battle, you've learned that you are fighting an alchemical golem. This is a construct that is immune to most magic, but you know, after some successful knowledge checks, that it is harmed by sonic, healed by acid, slowed by cold, and resistant to physical damage. The 
creature was hit by cold and slowed, but it was still able to reach out and smash a tank to the south of the room. And as the tank shatters, a huge jelly emerges, pushing the rest of you deeper into the room. We've now learned since the Boston show that slowed does not stack. Unless the ability says so, it doesn't stack. So the cold damage that Ethel and Atticus did doesn't make the golem slowed two. It is slowed one, so it still has one action. Agree to disagree. Sounds like a hands off the chess piece situation, Troy. I... I own the chessboard. <laughs> this is my game. How very capitalist of you. <laughs> Let's go to the map. Joe, are we on the map? Yep. Can we turn up the heat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can is there off. any way these lights could shoot laser beams of heat into us as well? <laughs> it's just not fire enough. behind us. Possibly? You can take off your jacket. No, I'm naked underneath. <laughs> The shirt, there's no sleeves. You there's take no a jacket. It would be amazing if your tux was just like a sleeveless t-shirt. Just like, like a sleeveless bib. shirt. Like a Chippendale dancer <laughs> yeah. underneath. All right, so it is uh, uh, Goldie McGolem here. Look at him, huh? He looks way cuter than he actually is. It's the eyes. Yeah, it's the eyes. It's just Do goofy. not get sympathy. He's very, very mean. Yeah. Very, are they real eyes or are they just googly eyes? Oh, they're yeah, they stuck like, on the tank. Yeah, they glued on. I put the eyes on the alchemical golem. A silly intern in the yeah. lab was like, this <laughs> is fun. Just do yeah. this. You know what this golem needs? And then, yeah. Yep. Boop. And then they got fired promptly. Probably. All right, so golem's turn. Still the golem's turn, I should say. And uh, Suki, what's going on there? Are you standing on a table or just being silly? <laughs> I'm standing on a table because I flew down. I was a bird. That's right. You were a uh, hockey. Yeah, I had a whole plan. <laughs> Every time. Best laid plans. <laughs> the curse of a druid. All right, obviously this is a larger creature here, but uh, we got Suki and Ethel up in its face. And Pepsi. Whatever. <laughs> He's going to attack Suki. <laughs> I know. And he is going to uh, stab you with one of his syringe fingers. Okay. If that's, if that's okay with you. Sure. <sighs> And I'm in human form. I'm not in my... That happened last show, too. I was a hawk. I changed out. I'm in my human form. I know. I changed you on the map. I know. I'm just making sure. Don't raise your voice. Testy tonight. (laughs) Fiance is going to kick your ass now. (laughs) Hey, don't make me get my fiance up here. to defend her honor. We're uh, opening the show strong here with a natural one. Yeah! Oh, shit! Is it named? Not named, but it's a natural one. Let's uh, find a good Chicago fumble. Yes! Yeah! Shitty yeah! monster! It's got to be somebody here. Is Ian here from Chicago? Yeah, Ian just dropped Ian? a glass. <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Ian just went, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Who's asking? Who's asking? Told my wife I was taking a walk. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Calm down, Ian. Uh, all right, this one is called Foreigner Affair, or sorry, Foreigner Fairs. Foreigner Affairs. <laughs> Foreigner Fairs. You get lost in the driving beat of combat and the rhythmic clash of blade on blade. Recalls a distractingly catchy song that gets stuck in your fake alchemical head. You become flat footed. Check it and see for 1d3 rounds. Even if you've acted, you can't use your decks because you're flat, you can't use your decks. Because you're flat-footed, mm-hmm. uh, this fumble has no impact on your dexterity or ability to use it. It was purely to complete the parody of a parody. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ian. Uh, so, uh, thanks, Ian. so you're flat-footed for 1d3 rounds. And he just hears, I've been waiting for a girl like you. I think it's Get a different foreigner the- song. <laughs> I want to know what love is. Either one. He would bop to either of those songs. All right, so he's flat-footed. I don't give a shit because it's my jelly's turn. And I don't think you're ready for this, Joe. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Didn't have that plan till just now. Kate loved it. I loved it. That's why she sits next to me, because she laughs at my jokes. All right. This jelly is ready to fuck shit up. He's coming after Ethel. I'm changing dice, because this one only rolls natural ones in Chicago. I mean, that's its record so far. I mean, 
big like pseudopod comes out of the jelly. It's coming at you there, Taki McGee. We're discussing if I'm flat-footed or not. Shaboom! You are. You're flanked. No, but, but your golem's flat-footed now, right? Yes, doesn't but matter. if he's flat-footed, it doesn't matter. He's doesn't still, matter. still threatened. You're still flanked. Motherfucker. Yes! Yes! Right. Not on that one. That's going to be a... I hope this hits. Please just say it hits. 23. I mean, I could say that hits, but it would be a lot. <laughs> Twenty-three. <laughs> Damn it! Troy, you're still going to murder us all. I mean, yeah. just take heart. You were literally talking about a TPK backstage, and you were like, good luck out there. That was really bad. All right, second attack. On you again, because I don't like you. <laughs> now we're fucking talking, and that might be a crit. This is going to be a total of... Thirty-three. Hit, not a crit. Shit. All right. A couple things are going to happen here. This is going to be horrible. <laughs> yep. This is going to be horrible. I hate oozes. You take uh, 22 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, Straight to the dome. <laughs> the dome. <laughs> you take three points of acid damage. Okay. And then with its final action, because it has successful hit, it grabs no. you. Ooh. Automatic. No, I have to use an action to grab. But because I hit with this, I'm allowed to do that. But it's an automatic hit. Automatic grab. Automatic grab. You don't have to roll for it. Don't raise your voice. Round two! Eris. Fuck. Um, (laughs) Oh, you're you're grabbed. Um, My original plan was to have egg deliver you some eyes so that you weren't flanked anymore. I don't know if that's still useful, though. Sorry, I'm, re- I'm trying to... Uh, McD is kindly delivering me ice-cold beverages because I'm about to explode in heat. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I'm still flanked. I mean, but I'm flat-footed from the grab, so I don't know that it makes Yeah, now you're flat-footed from that, but I don't know. I feel like it's still useful, and... <sighs> Hold on. Let me see. Talk it through. Let me see. So Forget the fact that we're live. Casting the countless eyes. Just, they're not even here. Hey. You just do you. Uh, yeah, I am. Thanks. I'll vamp. How about those black eyes? Let me just huh? get comfy and settle into my turn here. Ugh. Take right, your time. Um, Take your time. Let me just scroll down my spell list. Um, so countless eyes is two actions, and then I would use one action to command Egg to bring it to you. And then that's it. You're I, also super bunched up, though, by I that. know. Uh, but there's nowhere for me to move except for back up the stairs. Elevator. 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 Yep. You could leave your friends behind. I mean, this does this... I doubt this jelly has an attack of opportunity. Oh, that, too. I always forget about that. Yeah. I'm going to do my original plan, because um, I always regret not giving you eyes. And I'm going to use two actions to cast countless eyes two egg and pull them out of my little pocket be like please 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 help that ball please help help Ethel oh please help Ethel health apple that's what I was help saying apple. Help apple. <laughs> have you used any actions in this turn yet no Would well I'm about to I'm like using to. two right now okay let so her I cook put him, I put him down on the ground hey we're playing pretend I'm telling a story alright please I can picture it um, I put I put Egg down, and um, since Egg is independent, gets two actions, uses one to walk up to Ethel and one to touch you, give you all the eyes that you need. Ah! So hopefully <laughs> you can get out of this, and then you won't be flat-footed anymore. I didn't want to see this much. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, countless eyes. Countless eyes. Okay. Delivered Are by you actually egg. moving? You haven't moved yet. Well, no, I right. used all my actions to cast it through egg so that I, because I can't reach him from where I am. I okay. see. Don't forget, you also have chicken knife. Oh yeah, chicken yes. knife. Chicken knife is flanking. I forgot about chicken knife. Oh, how could I forget about chicken knife? You know what? Let's start over. Oh boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> how was the Chicago show? My turn stands. <laughs> Kate took 20 minutes to take her first turn. <laughs> Chicken knife, I'm sorry. You look ridiculous in those hats. How <laughs> dare you in those hats? I look like a senator. You look like that children's book. I laughed at your joke. 
<laughs> Sorry. You look like that man from Hats for Sale. You know that kid's book, Hats for Sale? The man wears so many hats, he's ridiculous. What an idiot. We like to have fun here. <laughs> what do you got, Kate? You, oh, is that's it your it, turn? That's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. All right, that's it. Kate, everybody. A big round of applause for Kate. <laughs> All right there, Mario. Are you talking to me? Yes. Okay. Um, until I know more about what this jelly is, I'm mm-hmm. gonna keep. I'm gonna focus my attacks on the, the golem. Okay. All right. So double slice on the golem. Your grab. Oh, yes, I know. I have it checked off my sheet. I'm not gonna double slice because I want to do some warhammer damage. Oh. Okay. So first attack with the warhammer. Uh, that is going to be a 39. Ooh. Whoa! Let's go. That is a critical hit. Yeah! yeah. Critical threat. Amazing. Critical Critical, critical threat. Gross. All right, so that is a, yeah, that's a critical hit. Holy shit. This isn't the one that does automatical kills, right? Automatical? Is that a word? Automatical. No. Automatical. It is not. It's not the vorpal blade we encountered. Ah, okay. Else. All right. So uh, let's hear uh, another. Which I never rolled a crit on. Chicago area crit there, Joe. It wasn't a natural twenty. Was it, it was not. A oh, it was 20. not. All right. So yeah. double damage. Okay. I gotta go do some math, bam, for me. All right. You know it's resistant to physical, but I think you've also learned that bludgeoning sneaks past the goalie. Okay. That is. 29 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, yes. nice. Uh, three points of cold damage. Ooh, yes. And... That's just going to extend the slowed. You are knocked down. Nice! What? Yep. I'm so knocked down? This is something we forgot last episode, but yes, the Warhammer wow. knocks you down. Let's go, uh, Matthew. I'm immune to, immune to prone. <laughs> I'm immune to prone. <laughs> um, okay, and then... You know, uh, I really want to keep going on this guy. But the, yeah, all right. Second attack. Yes! Okay, uh, that's going to be a 34 to hit. That's a hit. <laughs> Dude, huge yes! round from Ethel. What kind of weapon is this? Bludgeoning. It's the Warhammer again. Crap. Okay, so uh, that'll be 32 points of... I'm sorry, um, 22 points of bludgeoning. And two points of coal. Gross. Amazing. Nice. You know what? All right, and then Ethel is going to move. I'm going to get it. No, I can't. I'm grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. You're grabbed. uh, I'm going to try to escape. Okay, you can try. Athletics? Um, Escape. Look at the escape action. You can use unarmed attack. You can use athletics or acrobatics, but you are going to take the third. It takes the map, even if it's athletics. Yes, it has the attack trait. Then I will instead just try to hit you again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Almost certainly a miss. Twenty-two. That is a miss. Even though it's prone. Yes. Okay, just checking. That's my turn. That's your turn. Very good turn. Good turn. Yeah. Good turn. Hey, good turn. I've uh, seen better, but... Me too, Troy. Me too. It's Suki's turn. Suki, wow us. <laughs> uh, all right, so Suki is going to move away from the golem, because very scary, um, yep. and she is going to cast haste on Aldo. One thing I what? forgot. In all my haste, you crit it, right? Yes. Amazing. Whenever it's hit by a crit, one of the chambers on its body explodes, spewing out al- alchemical liquid in a five-foot radius. Oh, oh my no. God. And it's random to see which of these horrible things comes out of its body. So let's determine that. Oh There's, my God, what a cool ability. I was having so much fun. Yeah, I was having a good time. Until right now. And you ruined it. This is so, so bad. Somebody just said, yep, they know. Uh, All right, I want to roll this. I want to roll 10d6. I refuse to vamp for you right now. This is bullshit. How many many containers are on its body? Uh, Don't worry about it. So, uh, is it just you and Suki that's within five feet at this point? Oh, Suki moved away. But you were there. I was there when he, yes. I I moved myself back. I'm where I was. All right, both of you roll a reflex save. 
Chicken knife as well. Yeah, chicken knife is going to take some damage. Knife. What's chicken knife's reflex bonus? It's really big, obviously. So. Uh, 31 reflex. 31? 22. You take 44 points of fire damage. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck me. And Ethel takes a gentleman's 22. Okay. Oh. Boom! Fire explodes out of one of its uh, johns. Ow! Ow, my body, my entire body. I'm so hurt. I'm on fire. And then, Suki, I'm sorry, you may finish your turn. Okay. Now I move away, especially because that happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm going to still cast haste on Aldo. Okay. Um, So that's third level spell. Cool. Cool, very cool. And... Is that your turn? Is haste two actions? That's got to be it. That's it, it, yeah. Oh, and then Pepsi is going to... Oh, shit. Do you have any actions left? Well, Pepsi can move on his own because he has mature animal companion. Okay. Uh, I don't have to command him. So Pepsi is going to move onto the table where I was. Same spot. Okay. Uh, Actually, can you move Pepsi? I don't have control of Pepsi on the map. Can you move Pepsi next to Chicken Knife to the right so that it's flanking the golem? Um, Next to Chicken Knife? To the right. So it's flanking the golem with Ethel. Well, no. Just so. What the uh, hell do you want me to do? So it's flanking. I'm, I'm pinging the spot. There we go. Here Thank you. You yep. think that's flanking? With Ethel? Do you know what flanking is? I yes, it is flanking yes. with Ethel. Oh, with Ethel. Yes. I'm sorry. I thought it was flanking with chicken knife. I'm like, no. what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> They're just next to each other, Sydney. And All that's, right. that's I'm it. sorry. That All right, Pepsi, so Pepsi can only move or, flank. or strike, so that's it. Okay. But Aldo, you have haste, so please save us. Well, Aldo, it's your turn. What do you got, buddy? Uh, okay, so Aldo is... Where the hell are you? Are you on the map? I'm on the map. I'm just behind Atticus. Uh, Atticus is between Aldo and the ooze. All right, Atticus. So the, the golem is weak to... Is affected by Sonic, right? Yes. All right. yes. Harmed by Sonic. Yes. So uh, I'm just gonna start tossing alchemist fires. Yeah. Okay. Um, so first one. Oh man, uh, that is a 35 to hit. Oh baby. 35 is a hit, and this is fire damage. Yes. Yes. Fire okay. damage. Um, all right. So that's. 13 points of fire damage. Okay. And two points of sonic damage from nice. my thundering ruin of my bandolier. All right, so that will actually do 5d8 points of sonic oh, damage. Oh, shit. Whoa. That's Whoa. Awesome. Whoa. Hell yeah. That is the answer. So I'll let you roll that. Any sonic damage it takes, it takes 5 Okay. Whoa. All right. <laughs> That's bomb number one. Boom. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's cool. <laughs> I'm having this guy. fun again. That is ah. so good. Uh, 17 points of Sonic. Nice. Uh, okay, bomb number two. All right, bomb number two. two. Bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, yeah, that is a 33 to hit. 33 <laughs> yeah. is a hit. <laughs> Larry! Dude, we are lighting it up early. Uh, 18 points of fire. That's <laughs> so dead. 18 points of fire, okay. And 5d8 Sonic. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> 27 points. Oh, <laughs> baby! Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. I'm going to do it again. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, if it's well. working, why stop? Uh, that is not as good. That is, uh, that's 20. 20 is a miss. Okay. <sighs> But uh, you did about 100 points of damage. Wait, splash yeah. damage. It's splash damage, yeah. Yeah, they get five point. Well, I don't think the you get. I would get s- sonic splash damage, but I would get the five points of fire splash damage. Five points of fire splash. Okay, that, yeah. will, that will hurt him. All right, so he is messed up. <laughs> yeah. And I have you were hasted. Do you have one more yeah. action? Yeah, one more yeah action. you do. Uh, that is a seven to hit. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a fumble. So that won't even do splash. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Good round for Aldo. Hayes was very smart there. I really do love the claps after every turn. Yeah. It just Don't feels get, like really Wheel good. of Fortune or something. It's like tennis. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Oh, yeah, it's it's like Joe's tennis. turn. <laughs> Atticus, you're up. Not very thrilling, no. Uh, <laughs> what do you okay. Got, Atticus is going to... Oh, this sucks. Atticus is going to 
Ooh. He's going to... <laughs> you know, first I'm going to do a recall knowledge on this ooze. Yes. I want to know with a Thank deal you. with the ooze. Uh, what are its weaknesses? What can we do you to defend ourselves? You want to know the secret ourselves? of the ooze? Uh, I'm not sure what to roll here on the ooze. Is it, is it uh, arcana? Fine is film. it occultism? Is Amazing it... film. <laughs> what would it be, Troy? Um, knowledge jelly. Knowledge... Jelly no, lore? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, whatever you want to roll. Fuck, I'll, I'll, I only have jam whatever lore. Whatever I want to roll, right? I'll roll oh, arcana. I'll roll really arcana. That's really funny, Sydney. So no. <laughs> They're different. <laughs> Most people don't know, but jelly and jam are very different, so it's important. I'll roll arcana. Okay. Okay. 35. 35. Nice. This is a vicious ochre jelly. Ogre jelly? Ochre. 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 Um... All right, what do you want to know? Anything in particular? Anything you I want, want to know uh, what it's resistant to, what it's weak to. Okay, I'll give you uh, They're immune to acid, electricity. Fuck. Sorry, I cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm not at home. And you're sitting next to a bethrowed woman now. You can't just I know. curse in front of her. A proper lady. What's funny is I also said fuck, just not into my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I went, fuck. That person is affianced. <laughs> oh, fianced. Oh, fianced. Wait, go on. Say more, Troy. Uh, man, I don't want to give you this, but I will, because you use an action. It's the best part of it. Do I tell him? Yes. 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 Yeah. 35. Yeah. It's really going to ruin the show if I tell you this. No, it won't. Um, shut, shut up. up. Shut, shut, shut up. up. Who the fuck up? Who's Who's fire fire you are? Shut up. I can't see you, but I'll find you. you. Shut your mouth and you're talking to Steve. I heard a lot of don't do it. No. So, no. It's a, I, here, I'm going to tell you all of its immunities. That's, what I'm, that's my compromise. Thank you, madam. Oh, come on. Immune to acid, critical hits, electricity, mental, piercing, precision, slashing, unconscious, and visual. Because it ain't got no eyes. It's what? jelly. What? And Wait, that is what? all the relevant information about Could this you creature. say it again? What? You need to know right now. Shit. Shit. Immune to slashing, you said. Immune to slashing. You yeah. did not say bludgeoning. You though. could give it a give it the old college try. You didn't uh, say bludgeoning, though, right? You didn't say bludgeoning. You said slashing, right? I don't remember. And what piercing. I said. Can and you repeat it? Atticus would quickly share this with everyone around him. I forgot it immediately. And immune to precision damage. Immune to precision damage. Yep. For you rogues um, in the party. You didn't say anything about cold, right? I didn't. I didn't. Or fire? Cold. No, no. Okay. Cold or fire. Atticus, you know what? Screw it. He's just going to go total ape shit on this thing. And sp- he's just going to open up his hands, pinning this giant ooze up against a wall. And he's just going to cone of cold the shit out of it. Yeah. Ah! Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it is a reflex save. All right. Reflex save from my jelly. Please. How does it, how Please. fast is your jelly bounce? Please. Uh, 28. 28 is a fail. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, That's all, all the die I'm rolling. Every time I bounce, I roll a die. 44 points of cold. Oh, oh shit. Oh. That is a nice. lot. That's a lot of jelly. Um... All right, 44 points of cold damage. Was that three actions? Oh, you used an action. That was two actions, and, and that's two his turn. two the John. That is Atticus's turn. Did that seem to hurt him? Oh, yeah. And, okay. It is the alchemical golem's turn. He is slowed. He is prone. He will stand up. Provoking. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. From the Warhammer. Natural four. Oh, oh. Son of a bee. 27 to hit. Oh! Oh! Hits oh. exactly. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I think this might finish him, dude! Troy knows it. You can see the pain in his eyes. Okay, 13 points of bludgeoning and mm-hmm. six points of cold damage. He's dead. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> On a natty four, dude. Yeah. Holy. Um, it, if this seen. matters, he'd be flat-footed until the until the start of his next turn. Or start of my next turn. Watch yourself. <laughs> Poor guy. 
All right. He just exploded a bunch of fire on us all. <laughs> it wasn't his fault. It's true. I did hit him. <laughs> it is the jelly's turn. Just want to check quickly if grab lasts till the end of his turn. I believe it does. Yep. Like I said, yep, that's fine with me. <laughs> so while you're grabbed, I suppose I should constrict Oh, you. no. Constrict you. Let me get my D8s out. Ooh, that's a nice one. That one's good, too. You're going to take uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then you're going to take six points of acid damage. You're fine. Okay. And then I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to release you. Free John. Don't like this. Mm-hmm. Don't like this at all. I don't like this. And I'm going to attack you. Oh! Uh-huh. And your Who said yes? Little ace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That is going to be a 34 to hit. That is going to not be a crit. Thank God. <laughs> Woo! 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, shit. I'm going to get grabbed, ain't I? Seven points of acid damage. Mm. Oh. 28 points total. Final action grab you. Yeah. And starts yeah. to squeeze. Squeeze. Just feel cold jelly all over your body. Is like it, your wedding night. Is it nice? <laughs> I know, you told me that in confidence. But I wanted you to get a real visual. There are some things that are said in private. <laughs> I'm sorry. The world must know. It is round three, and it is Eris's turn. <gasps> Everyone, um, take a breather. Can I please? <laughs> so mean. Wow. You're the best. He's so rude. Kate, okay, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kate Samus. You heard how I flirt. Yeah, you... <laughs> how do you think I fight? <laughs> Wow. That was good. That was good. Um, You've also been married longer than anyone at this, uh, this table. I'm the yeah, most married true. up here on stage. Yeah. It's not a contest. I feel like that means a lot. I like won at life or something. How many people here are married? <laughs> wow. How many people aren't married tonight, if you know what I mean? Jesus. I saw so many uncomfortable laughs right in the first couple I rows. Saw a lot of wives, so many though. couples just looking at each other like, right. "Don't you fucking dare!" <laughs> it's just the Shiraz talking. Oh my God. <laughs> Kate, what do you got? All right, all right, all right. I want to use one action to maybe try to know something about this ooze. I want to know um, how its saves are, mm-hmm. and possibly if it has an attack of opportunity, depending on how good I roll. Okay, well, you do know that Atticus it casts a spell. It does not have an attack of opportunity. It doesn't. You think it probably doesn't. Um, I want to uh, like try to figure out what its strongest and weakest uh, saves are. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Give it what, a roll. Uh, Arcana? Whatever you want. Occult? Whatever you want. Occult? Yeah, sure. I want a cult. I hate it when Ooh. he does that. Oh, that's big math. Uh, hold on. <laughs> that sounds that's like double digits, math. 39. 39. Oh. 39. <laughs> I told you. I think you. with that, you get the exact saved numbers. <laughs> yeah. I think with that, you get the thing that Troy didn't want to tell us. Yeah. yeah. 39. Uh, it has very good fortitude. And really bad reflexes. Mm. It's a slow jelly. It's a slow jelly. Okay. And that's all you know. Crap. Reflex. Well, what about its will? Midland? Midland will. Its will is mid. But it's, all right. a, it's immune to mental. mental right? Yeah, it's immune mental, to mental yeah. anyway. It's immune to mental. And visual. Um, crap. All my stuff is the stuff that it is immune to. Why don't you just get chicken knife after it? Chicken knife? It's I'm immune I, to slashing. I think. I think that's. Oh no, but I mean, isn't it immune to piercing it's and resistant. precision? It's resistant. Oh, it was resi- I thought it was immune. Okay. Resistant, uh. <laughs> Am I right? Did, weren't you taking notes? In the- no, we talk too fast. Check your emails. Cindy. I can't type that fast. There must be some notes in that open. I email. changed it from a draft email to a Google Doc, Ooh. and that's. Yep. I know. Okay. 
After she much, got engaged. Stop. She I'm moved a to a Google Doc. She's stop. growing up. Yep. After growing much, up. they all made uh, fun resistance. of me in the green room. They made me change it. And they held me down at gunpoint. <laughs> and now you can control F and search through and I'm your notes. Scared. Sign here. Thank you for vamping. I found something that might work. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast a spell that I don't think I cast yet. Um, called the Ill Omen. Ooh. Two actions. Gormley had this spell. Halloween. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, I love Gormley. Um, <laughs> so dead. you need to roll. I know. <laughs> Spoilers. Sydney. What the- What's wrong with you? She, Matthew has feelings. How many years old? It's so, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like when you spoil a TV show that came out 10 years ago. I'm like, I'm not that sorry. I just watch it. Just watch it eventually. Oh, it's okay. It's a beloved character of mine. <laughs> Yikes. This batch in your concern. Um, roll a little save, ooze. All right. I'll allow it. Ooze. <laughs> All right. Pretty good roll. Pretty uh, good roll. It's going to be a 25. Ooh. Fail. Okay. Um, yeah. So because of that, the first time uh, during the duration that the target attempts an attack roll or skill check, you must roll twice and take the worst result. Yeah. Nice. Duration nice. for awesome. one round. A little misfortune situation. Nice. Hell yeah. So the first time that I do that. Okay. Fair enough. Are you done? Um, yeah. I could like um, maybe describe it in like a fun way. Okay. So she thinks real hard. She looks at it and yeah. glares, and she's like, "I know, I know about, I know all about you, ooze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack your will." Okay. She reaches out her chicken fingers, and she goes, <laughs> And the ooze is like, "What?" It's mindless. Um, but it can still talk. You can nope. still talk if you have no mind. <laughs> Uh, um, but it was freaky. You definitely freaked it out. Troy does it every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will not take that guff from a plumber. You're as cold as ice. <laughs> anyway, that's what happens. All right, you got, do you have an action left? Do you want to get chicken knife involved? Nope, nope. Oh, for my, the last action that is available to Egg, Egg comes back to me. Um, Egg is independent and can move on his own if okay. I don't command him. All right, Egg. All right, Ethel, you're up. One of your, uh, you're no longer flanked here. It's and true. you're no longer grabbed. It's also true. You've uh, made a terrible mistake. <laughs> yeah, Ethel will I, destroy you. I'm going to beat on you now with this hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone keeps talking to it. It does have a brain. <laughs> uh, terrible Kill roll. It. 30 to hit. Hit. Actually, crit, but there are no crits. So just regular oh, damage. Right, right. Shit. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. going to be 21 points of bludgeoning okay. and two points of cold. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. 21 bludgeoning, two points of cold. You want to get that scimitar, that vorpal scimitar? That was a dream. It was right. a dream. <laughs> I only dreamed I had that weapon. Uh, 26 to hit, second attack. That's a hit. <laughs> okay, uh, 15 points of bludgeoning and five points of cold. Nice. Okay. Uh, and I am going to uh, step away from it. Step away from the jelly. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming back. I've got to be strategic. Sorry. You move away. Don't get squeezed. It hurts. It burns jelly. a little bit. Too. It hurts very bad. It burns it a little bit. It burns very badly. Suki, you are up. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast... Searing light. Yeah, okay. Uh, at the ooze. So let's. Is it immune to light? <laughs> it's fire damage. Fire damage, eh? Let's see. Great. Twenty-one. That's a hit. Oh, it is a hit because yeah. yeah. great. Yes! Like a oh, I thought I rolled so bad. Very low AC here. Okay, that's fine. It still takes full damage on this spell zoni. It is so. a jelly without a mind. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see. Five. Have... Don't laugh. Don't laugh. So, at that. Can you do the math if I say it out loud? Don't say it out loud. Just make up a number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just make up a reasonable number. Think of like, a reasonable like number. I do. Bump it up five and say that number. Twenty-six. I rolled three sixes. That rocks. That's nice. not the total. I just there was three. Six. Shut up. I did the math correctly. It's twenty-six fire damage. Okay. I'm sure it was. It was. I counted on my fingers. That's how I know I do it right. <laughs> and 
Now I'm going to command Pepsi so Pepsi gets two, oh no, you know what? I'm not. I'm just gonna move a little closer. Uh, I'm gonna move south a little bit towards the wall, still okay. keeping my distance. Uh, and Pepsi's gonna move too, Pepsi's gonna move toward me. Okay, a little and moving. That's it, that's my turn. Aldo. Aldo, it's, it it's can take fire damage, right? It seems uh, to have been hurt. Yes, by that searing light. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit to give myself a little bit more of an open shot out from behind Atticus. And I'm going to throw... I... <laughs> order it. Alchemist fire. Alchemist fire. Uh, Kill it. That's a 20. 20's a hit. Yes! Wow. Oh, All right. Troy, you seem a little sad about this. I'm a little sad. I gave you too much information. It's funny that you're sad and you're dressed like that. <laughs> I'm 21 points of fire damage and two points of sonic 21 fire two sonic he is so bum <laughs> I'll throw another one <laughs> why not it's so uh, easy to hit oh that's a 31 Wow. Yep, that's a hit. Okay. Uh, another 21 points of fire. Okay. <laughs> and three points of sun each. Cool. <laughs> now, I'm going to switch to lesser ones because I won't hit with them. Uh, 18, actually. 18. Uh, that's a hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really low AC. Wow. Uh, 13 points of fire. Okay. And three points of sun each. Well, uh, sun each. You could throw another one. You're no, still. I can't because I moved. Oh, because you moved. Rats. All right. Hell of a turn, Skid. Hell yeah. of a turn. <laughs> Don't let Troy get you down. Atticus, it's your turn. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. You're grabbed. I forgot I saw it to go. I was like, I'm grabbed. I'm out of it, right? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, you know what, Atticus? I'm just gonna. Just gonna do what comes to mind here. As he's thrashing with this thing around him, he's just gonna, he just really wants to uh, get out of there, even though this is stupid, but he's gonna do it. He's just desperate to get out of there. So he's going to try to reach for a wand that uh, is at his belt. Okay. So he has to roll a flat check to see if he can do it, and he gets it, natural 11. <gasps> Pulls out this wand. Then he's going to cast freedom of movement on himself. Oh. Ooh. Also has to roll a flat check to see if he can do it. Uh, and he succeeds with a natural 16. Okay. And uh, so he casts freedom of movement on himself. I'm, sadly, that just means that his turn is over. But, you know, if it comes all the way back around to him, he gets out for free. But uh, I don't think it's going to come to that. But just what he did is his reactions to this situation. He's I got gonna you. He's going to desperately try to get out of there. I got you. Uh, all right, so he has you grabbed right now. I'm going to constrict again, but I should have given both you and Matthew a fortitude save to lessen the constrict damage. So Matthew, roll it right now. Uh, 33. Okay, so give yourself like 10 hit points back, okay. and then you're gonna fail, right? Uh, absolutely, 26. Yeah, you failed, so you're fine. Now roll it again for this constrict, and fail it again. Atticus hasn't been constricted yet. This is my first constrict. Okay, great, so then This I'm is my first time. <laughs> I'll be gentle. <laughs> 17 points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh, no. Ethel, why did you leave me? 17 bludgeoning and 6 acid. I'm 5 feet away from you. Releases you and goes to strike... Oh, wait. Yeah, now I'm going to go strike Eris, and this is going to be the, uh, the ill omen uh, hey, no. situation. Okay. Wait, did you release me, you said? I did, yes. Okay. You released. And uh, so the first time you release it, it rolls a tag. It must roll twice and take the worst. So there's a natty 17. There's a natty 14. So I'll take the 14 and reveal what it's to hit is here. Uh, 35. Whoa, that is not a crit, but that was close. Ooh. All right, you're going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage and seven points of acid. Final action, grab you. All right, round five. We're in good shape. You're in good shape. We got this. Finish it off. What do you guys do? Um, Eris. You let her go! I wanted to telekinetic projectile <laughs> a bludgeoning object at Ooh. it. Okay. Um, just roll a flat check. DC 5. DC 5. 
Six. <laughs> Woo! 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 And then it's a spell attack roll. Natural 20! Yeah! <laughs> critical threat, critical threat, critical threat. Crystal cow, bad care. Wasted. It is wasted. All right, so you're doing telekinetic projectile. Um, critical success, I deal double damage. Yeah, but so it that's doesn't. So that's 10d6 instead of 5. It doesn't. It's immune to crits. Fine. 5d6. 5d6. And what kind of object did you throw at it? Like a knife? Uh, no, a bludgeoning object. The entire table. Like an the electric, middle of the room. The whole yeah. table. An electric eel. I don't know. Yeah, the whole, the throw, whole table. She throws Pepsi at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. All right, so you just throw a fucking table at it. Great. How much damage? So 5d6, I rolled a 13, but then I also get... Oh, my God. Windows. Uh, yeah, just 5d6, so plus 5. Okay. So 18. 18 points of damage. Do you have any actions left? Um, I want to move away from it, but it grabbed me. It did. Um, so I want to try to. I want to try to escape. Okay. And that's uh, athletics roll. You're saying. Athletics or acrobatics or unarmed. Can I do acrobatics? Yeah, whatever your best one and is. And it's going to be a acrobatics. minus five. A minus five. I believe. I'm glad I wasted my natural twenty. What do I know? Ooh. Um. Twenty-seven minus five. Twenty-two. Twenty. To, what is it, my athletics DC? Athletics DC, I believe. Yeah. Um, what are you trying to do? Escape? I'm trying to escape okay. your grasp, because I don't want to be constricted and choked. I only want, like, consent with that and, like, <laughs> a safe word. That's a, that's a fail. It has very, very high athletics. Ugh. All right. So you're trying to get out of there. Hopefully... Is, this, is this ooze sexy? <laughs> Ask I feel like it depends on I'm your asking tits. for a friend. You're trying to get ideas for next year's costume? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sexy ooze. Oh, sexy ooze. Sexy ooze. Sexy ooze. Sexy sexy ooze. ooze. Sexy ooze. <laughs> uh, all right. You done? Um, uh, yeah, that, those are all my actions. Ethel, it's your turn. Your lover is held in the grasp <laughs> of an ooze. And someone else is choking her. And the ooze is sexy. Oh my God, there are children <laughs> in the audience. And you're a Why? married woman. Why? <laughs> you're the most married of you're all the of the most us. married. Most <laughs> married. As you've established. I'm learning from you. <laughs> and someone else is choking her. <laughs> what is hey. in your wine? I'm the one who likes to get choked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I smell sex and can these, a weird crowd. Brief, these uh, brief insights into your relationship. <laughs> very disturbing. 26 to hit. Yeah, it's a hit. Yay! Uh, 22 points of bludgeoning and four points of cold. All right, whatever. You're going to kill this thing. So Let's, wrap okay. yeah. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. That was just like, Ugh. start playing the music. So... What I fucked up on is I shouldn't have told you so much. If you hit it with a slashing or a piercing or electricity, it splits into Split. two. Oh, oh, we know. Right. Yeah. That would have been amazing, but instead you gave these poor people of Chicago uh, a sad little fight where you just beat we, up on these we monsters. We gave them? Yeah, you did it. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they asked for their money back. We just kicked wow. ass. They, all, they sometimes root for us, Troy. We yeah. played pretend so hard. I would love, I, I would love, fault. I would love if somebody in this crowd went to someone in management and City Winery and was like, I would like my money back because I didn't see a PC death. <laughs> and then just the look on the management. That happens. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 I need. I, I demand my money back because they succeeded too well at their knowledge check and got too much information about the monster and didn't realize that slashing damage would split it apart. I'm sorry, Chicago. We won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's their Ooh. fault. <laughs> and those ten tickets you didn't sell out. Dude, it is literally no one in this room's fault. <laughs> yeah, like, they can't. Why are you blaming them for the people who didn't it's an come? an insane thing to blame them for. You're all, you've you're just all defined, in this together. <laughs> you've just defined Troy's psyche. Yeah. It's an insane thing to blame someone for. Well, you don't have to worry because you'll never see me again. Don't worry, he doesn't mean it. Sorry I yelled. <laughs> also, uh, you know you're lying because we had the most amazing Pequods last night. We did. Yeah. 
Be quiet! Is it true that people from Chicago don't care about deep dish, or is that like a fake thing that they say so that when people cut, hey, you don't care? You love it. Okay, so some people love it. I have friends in Chicago, and they were like, it's just a thing that we don't give a shit about, but tourists like it. So I see there's a divide, though. We enjoyed ourselves at Pequod's a lot. Quick cue. Too much last night. Are you, is it your hipster friends that hate everything? <laughs> I'll never tell. My friends are at this show. I love my friends. Oh, yeah. You guys have pushed me to the bottle. <laughs> he took our bottle of wine. Be careful. It might be wine. It might be water, though, too. No, it's wine. Oh, it's, oh, it's wow, wine. Wow, that is a big glass of wine. I have a pint of wine, please. <laughs> He's upset. <laughs> I love that jelly. <laughs> <laughs> that wine looks probably exactly like what's left on the floor after this so jelly much. is destroyed. I love, I love that jelly. Was there anything cool in the jelly? Um, yes, yeah, did it treasure. drop like ancient magic weapons that yeah. were held within? Yes, there's a scroll <gasps> that advances you directly to book six. Wow. Wow. <laughs> because you don't want to play anymore? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're out of combat in this strange room. It's like an observation deck up there. You get the sense that obviously this was some infirmary before... But you're also sort of getting the feel that like it was a prison infirmary. And so you wonder, were they like experimenting on prisoners here? And the other doctors were like, oh, let's try this. Let's try that. They were experimenting with prisoners while people watched in a gallery above. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. And you're just stared at by these angels on the (sighs) walls and these darkened stained glass windows. What do you do? Well done, Eth. Well done indeed. Thanks. I'm very hurt. Is everyone all right? No. No! The, like, sludge that was around her neck choking her, like, lets go, and she's like, whew, whew, whew. She, like, starts fanning herself. <laughs> she's like, oh, thank you, Ethel. Oh. Is your, uh, your extra mouth okay? Jeez. Wow. First on the priority list, I mean, the is, extra mouth. That is a weird first question <laughs> wow. to ask in public. <laughs> well, he knows that when the choking around the neck, sometimes it'll bite down a little. This is... Oh, man. Jesus. This is, this is not wow. the type of show that Bites. I want to run. I don't... I feel like Kate and I are in a game of chicken. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> chicken poon. Yeah, chicken, chicken poon. Chicken poon. You're in a horrible game of chicken poon. You're going to lose. Um, I feel like after <laughs> Eris no <laughs> cools herself down, she wants to walk up to these uh, gross celestial looking stained glass windows and uh, scowl at them and try to understand them. Okay. Which one? There's three of them. There's, uh, um, I guess I walk up to the one next to Suki. And I was like, oh, am I right, Suki? Suki? Huh? Girl? What? Girl to girl? Right? Sorry. I was just thinking about when I was a bird before. Oh, you so love being a bird. Yeah. I miss it. Did you uh, want to fly away? Do you no. know where your home is or your soul is? <laughs> I'm like a bird. I wanna... What, what, what? You know what? Never mind. And she turns... Oh, the window. <laughs> yeah. Do you... Does this look like anything to you? Hmm. Does it look like anything to Eris? Should she roll something? I look at the window and I ponder on it deeply. You stare at the window and, and there is a, a little latch, like it can be opened. Oh! Um, hey, wait, come on. Hey, there's a latch! <laughs> look at this! <laughs> so, you wait, wait, wait. Oh. The, what? Just hold on. I thought that's what you were saying, to open Well, let's just look at it. Oh. I'm like a bird. <laughs> I want to fly away. I should open the window. <laughs> if I open it, I could do go. We, do we see, <laughs> do we see anything else in the like we're not on the them. same page. What the fuck is happening just, right now? <laughs> you know what's a bad we combo? Rushed into just like this. pint of wine, pint of wine, and then just let the two of them talk to each other. <laughs> We'll never finish anything. All right. <laughs> I tell everyone. Break it up. 
I tell everyone, Suki turns around. I don't believe, I think these are false windows. I think you might be able to open them and they lead to another room. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that there's stained glass in a basement. Is there light coming through them? No light coming through it at all. Just a small latch, and like I said, they all have different depictions of angels sticking their hands into a patient. Light shooting out of the wounds, and the patient just like... Oh, jeez. Like, do we know what religion this is or something? Yeah, could I roll? It's Christianity. It's Christianity. (laughs) 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 Yup. Oh, I know this one. I I know it. (laughs) I've seen this. You feel guilty just looking at it. <laughs> it reminds you, with every look, what a piece of shit you are. Could I, could I roll, um, like, occultism on it? Yeah, sure. Okay. Or, or religion. Occultism! Uh, yeah, I'll roll religion. I'll roll religion if you want to learn about the religious aspects uh, of it. I'm going to do occultism. That's a 30. Ooh. Occultism is 33. 34. Okay, okay nobody seen, likes a braggart. You've seen, you've seen this angel motif uh, I'm ever good at since one thing. <laughs> you arrived at uh, Mun's house, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, denomination or anything that like is connected to this. It just seems to be... Uh, scary. Know, celestial in nature and scary, yeah. When you say uh, angel, though, is it like... Biblically accurate angels, like they're fucked. Dude, up those are looking. really scary. Google Stop. those. Yeah. Scary. No, it's more of like what we imagine. Laddering. Cherubic little babies. Uh, not babies. Nineteenth no. century. Not ba- okay, babies. Big babies. There's some specific angels. It's not cupids. Yeah, they're not like little cupids. <laughs> it's That's the reindeer. That like Michelangelo babies. Adult, adult angels. One of them. One of them. <laughs> one of them. Uh, uh, Ethel uh, rolled a religion check as well. He rolled very poorly. Uh, and as it turns out, he has some very poor associations with angels. Um, oh. His ex-wife decorated the house with little angels everywhere. <laughs> so out of nowhere, Ethel's like, ah! and he runs forward with the warhammer and just smashes one of the windows. I'm like oh! trying to prevent you from opening it, and he just comes up behind yeah, us I'm like, and like reaching. Hulk smashes it. <laughs> Do you smash the one that they're looking at here to the west? Yes. In the arms of- All right, so Ethel just, ah! And just like in Shawshank Redemption, you see a tunnel beyond. Oh, wow. The glass shatters, and there's like a little um, fixture on the ground that looks like you could put something in it. And then beyond that is a tunnel. There's like heavy paving stones and what look like iron spikes that have been thrust into the seams of the wall to make like a ladder going down. Um, And it just kind of curves and goes down this tunnel. Can we do a perception check around the room to see if we see anything that would fit into the thing you talked about? Yeah. The opening. Perception. And also, Suki just wants to check those other windows. Do they also have latches? Yeah, all three of them have latches. She would like to open them as well. Which one? Uh, the one to the north. Okay. So, Suki, you go to the north and open that one, and all of a sudden, you guys hear this, like, scream. It's just like, like a vomitous scream as a mass of black tentacles. Um, Suki! What are you oh, doing? I don't know! <laughs> oh. <laughs> A mass of black tentacles traps everyone but you. <laughs> oh no, what the fuck? What did you do? What the f- Are you over the window? Suki, I tried to tell you. <laughs> Suki, you just boop, blah! They like scream as they come out. They all have little mouths at the end of them. Oh no. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's get down to business here. Um, oh, come on, we didn't heal. You didn't heal anybody. I know. This is real, real bad. Why do you do this? Why does everybody have to fucking explore it without <laughs> healing first? Suki opens the other door, because the first door was fine. You were in the middle of perception yeah. checks on the open but they door. They must all be fine. <laughs> Alright, so Suki, you watch. I want you to watch. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Suki likes to watch. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright, this is going to be against your fortitude DCs. <laughs> oh my I'm gonna roll them all uh, separately. So first to Atticus, 
That is going to be a 22. Bad roll against your that, 42 yeah, DC. That's a fail. Okay, just a straight up fail? Straight up fail. All right, so you're going to take just a little bit of damage. And then Eris, oh, another shit roll. 24 against your 42 DC. Um, so that's like a critical fail. Critical fail. Okay, great. So you'll, you won't wow. take any damage. Right? Wait. Plus, Plus 10. 10. Oh, that's a regular fail. Okay. Girl math. Uh, 20. I'm rolling <laughs> terrible. 20 is a critical fail. Critical fail. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, poor Aldo, I, I rolled the best one on you. That's a 32. Uh, that is a, that's a regular fail. Oh, it's a regular fail? No, for me, I failed this. Oh, well, <laughs> it's bad. Oh, Failure's so bad. it's a regular success <laughs> for you. All right, so you take, uh, Atticus, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage, oh! and you're grabbed by one of these tentacles. The rest of you aren't grabbed. You take no damage, but however, any creature you succeed against is grabbed. Wait, why is no one else grabbed? You failed against me. I failed against you, yeah. yeah. Any creature you succeed against is grabbed by a ten- tentacle Wait, that it, takes... Wait, it succeeded... Sorry. Against me? Not Joe. Not yeah, it failed against me. Yeah, it failed against you. No, I know. So you guys don't take any damage. Okay. Um, just Aldo, but Aldo is oh. grabbed by this oh. thing. Ah, I see. Sorry, you said I was grabbed and took 12 points of damage, so I'm not grabbed. Did and I say took, Atticus? I meant yeah. Aldo. But So I take no damage and I'm not grabbed? Yeah, no damage oh, okay. and you're not I didn't grabbed. know if it was half damage. Only Aldo is grabbed. Sorry. Uh, this kid messed me up when he said, I, you failed. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Um, you failed. You failed. <laughs> a right. failure is like negative things, so I thought, <laughs> this is very bad. I One failed. of us failed. That doesn't help. Uh, all right, so you are grabbed by this thing. I, I don't want to go into initiative here. I just want to see what you want to do and what your friends can do. Uh, so let's just go around here. Suki, you're watching all this. <laughs> With great interest. <laughs> yeah, I do nothing. I just want to see what plays out. Um, you know what, though? You know what? You could, in this position, think it's unrelated. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't yeah, have no, to be that you open that for, latch. Yeah. I don't think Suki should feel the same guilt for being stupid that you feel. She doesn't. She feels no guilt. She just goes, that could have happened to anyone. <laughs> could have happened to anyone. It's unfortunate that it happened to you, but it could have happened to me. So, uh, okay. So we're not an initiative, but I think she would try to help. Okay. And I think she would immediately, like, just innately cast a flaming sphere directly in the center of it for a five foot little radius. Uh, I guess any anywhere that is safe from anyone else in a five foot square. Okay. Um, do you want me to roll the damage? Yeah, just roll okay. the damage. Well, do I? You have to do a uh, basic reflex. Yep, yeah, basic reflex. Thank you. Okay, uh, just just roll the damage. It's not okay. fighting back. It's just staying there. You're just seeing. Oh, well, now I feel out. bad. Yeah. Is it not fighting back? It's weird. Maybe Seems it's like mean. an illusion or something. Or I don't know. Uh, Trap. A hazard. Uh, Twelve points of fire damage. All right. So you see, one of the tentacles like evaporates and immediately starts to grow back. Very slowly. What is going on? Now, the thing is, Atticus and Eris and Ethel, you can all, you're not grabbed. You have a chance to get away. So I assume you do. However, Aldo, you are still grabbed by this thing. You can try to escape, or you can try and attack the tentacle that is grabbing you. What would you like to do? I'm going to try to attack the tentacle. Okay. Um, yeah. Just dropping a bomb right I'm a, at, I'm at your feet. I'm going to drop a bomb. 36. Boom! Yeah. How much yeah. damage? Uh, that's 13, 13 points of damage. 13 points of damage. You destroy the tentacle that's grabbing you. As it starts to grow back, you can get away. However, right. this mass of tentacles just stays there. and then Writhing? Uh, writhing. You guys wait and watch it, and after a minute, it disappears. Whoa. I Wait, they like, well, I'm watching it disappears, can... like vanishes, just like, or sucks boom. back down into the floor. Goes back down into the floor. So it wasn't an illusion. No, it was very real. I just rolled horribly. <laughs> well, you... that wasn't so bad. Here, let's open the other one. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> please, before we do anything else, please. You hear click. Suki's already. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Please. Ah, they come back. <laughs> Can we heal, please? I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Else. I really thought that we were out of the woods. I thought that was really going to be it. I will heal anyone who wants to be healed. I, I, 
I want to be healed. <laughs> okay. I, I too would like healing. Who needs to be saved? Raise your hands. Let the record reflect we've all raised our hands. Yes. Four tentacles well. come out. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> Four tentacles come out. Come to me, and she lays a hand Withering on your head. Withering tentacles. The power of Christ compels come you. Come to me. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Uh, you know, this might be an interesting time to channel, like a level four, level five channel. We're all hurt. You get a lot of dice. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe O'Brien playing someone else's character. And well, <laughs> that's why really it's because it's so funny. Like he's he's actually dressed as a coach right now, so this is perfect. <laughs> It's just, just like it is on TV. I literally, it's almost as if he looked at my laptop screen, though, because I do have open my fifth level heel that I can channel for a 30 foot emanation. So, why are you, what are you, what are you happy about? Happy? I'm not happy. I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said earlier when we were in the green room, you were like, I've got a level four here and a level five. Yeah. We were just talking it out. So, so, you remembered that. Yeah. I will cast. I honestly don't know. I don't know if channeling is the best. I think it is. Maybe. But we're not in a rush. Maybe we just treat wounds Sydney. for hours down well, here. Well, I also have continual recovery, so I, c I can just... Yeah, we could just treat wounds and stay down here for a couple hours and save the spell. That's what were you going to say, Skid? I was going to say, just imagine that you could do whatever you wanted with your character. <laughs> exactly you, like you just you did. Exactly like you just did. <laughs> try to imagine that. Just scenario. try, try to picture. I know it's difficult to imagine. I had a great imagine. Also, Joe is terrifying because he's just like looking imagine. at us, and I can feel the daggers behind I know, your he's pit vipers. <laughs> he's hiding them. You look like you're ready to go to the World Series of Poker. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> How hurt is everyone? Do we need to stay here for a few hours while I heal everyone? I, I don't know how to describe this, but I feel like I'm 59 hit points down. Okay. I yes. feel like a 21. Uh, 21? 21, okay. If I had to put a number on it. Perhaps 41 for me. It's quite down. a lot, actually. Aldo, are you also hurt? No, just a little bit. I could probably take care of myself, though. Um, why, I mean, why don't we do continual recovery? Why don't I just treat wounds and I'll send it to you off air of how much and then we off can... Off air? Well, I mean, yeah. like... Tell us just tell, tell us tomorrow. Oh, You've got God. one more can door I, do to, I to open. Roll? Do I just text roll? us at the cab back later. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another door. Well, you, you'll have to vamp while uh, I roll. Sydney I have to roll. has gotten into this, this system that we've used on Legacy, which is fantastic. Yeah, it it's is. great. We save the show by not doing all this healing on air and we just... Like G chat each other basically. It's great. During like while we continue the story with the amount of damage we need healed, and Nick's just healing it in the background. It's it's wonderful. All right, it so it doesn't really work on stage as much. But. <laughs> so it'll I've been be... texting with Skid this whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't been checking them, but <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Let's con <laughs> let's continue on because I do have to do a DC check for each treat wounds I do and then depending on you get a certain amount of hit die so let me do all that and you guys talk about other things talk to me about this DC check <laughs> what, what are you doing are you doing 20 or 30 you take a train um, to Washington DC <laughs> I'll do are you a master of healing no I'll do I'll do 20 okay because I don't want to screw it up uh, okay so I'm gonna switch die just for fun Nailed it. That's a crit, so you'll get 4d8. Plus, is it 20? What? See, when we just really DC, play the game. You get this more. Is, oh. We're just playing Pathfinder. Jeez. Uh, when I do a DC 20, yeah, 10. This is the most thrilling radio we've ever DC, <laughs> DC 20 is 10, so four, just remember, more single 48 stories plus 10. Let's hear they uh, do math. Kate, you're going to get 48. That's way too much. Plus 10. 4d8. 4d8, okay. 4d8, sorry. Should we just oh. roll that Yeah, roll yourselves, then? roll yeah, yourselves. that's a good idea. That saves me math. Ooh, Matthew, I didn't do good on yours. So that's a fail. Um, oh, no. Is that a Wait, fumble? What? <laughs> What's a, oh, no. Can't yeah, that was a nat two. <gasps> what is your bonus? What's my bonus? I think you What's harm my medicine? Me oh, no, it's okay. My medicine is a 20, so that's not. It's fine. You it's, are a I am a that's master. Amazing. It's fine. It's, so that's shit. 
<sighs> Come on. 2d8. You just get 2d8. 2d8. I just rolled 7765 on my treat wounds. Nice. Bad nice. ass. That got an applause break. Skid, you also only get 2d8. Uh, I healed myself already. So. Oh, okay. Well, ignore that. All right. I could use a little more. You're fine. What do you guys want to yes, do? Yes, I could use it. Yeah. I can, 10 minutes. Yeah, it, it's All fine. Right. Um, let's, uh, oh, we, they wanted to, and Atticus as well, wants to look at the details of this slot yeah. that yes. something goes into to see if we can figure out what could possibly go All on. right, so roll some uh, perception. Okay. I don't see anything at all. I'm still thinking about uh, that is a t- my experience with the jelly. only 24 for Atticus. Perception. Thir- 33 perception for Ethel. 33 uh, perception. I think I got it. And uh, Larry. Uh, you guys are just looking around the room. Yes. 38. Okay. Okay. You uh, find a couple of used sun rods. Ooh. And you're like, oh, uh, these Johnskis would fit perfectly into these slots, and so that's probably what they did. They wow. put sun rods back there. But of course, one of these has been shattered, so it will never shine again. Oh. But, uh, yeah, so you could slot a little uh, sun rod in there, turn it on, close it, and then... Oh. Oh. So it's just for aesthetic purposes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, throw those away. All right, let's... <laughs> should we head down the one that Ethel smashed? Well, we didn't... Inspect the last one. Oh. Ethel will smash that one as well. Ah. No, nothing happens. <laughs> uh, it's empty. There's just a little slot for a sun rod. No tunnel. No trap. Empty. Where the where the tentacle monster came from? Is there anything behind that, or it was just like a the tentacle monster? Oh no, it was just something triggered by opening okay. up that thing that sent this massive black tentacles into the room. So right. yeah, right now you've got the elevator, which you came down on, and you've got this tunnel. Dude, to these. it's all tunnel. It's all tunnel. You got a tunnel. All dude. tunnel. So all is it the like uh, five feet wide, high enough for anybody to walk through? Yeah, single file, uh, and it's not walk. You'd have to climb down because it curves down. And these oh. spikes in the wall. You have to like hold the spikes and just go down into who knows where. Oh all right. God! You guys should decide the party order I while I leave f- the stage. I will go first. You sure? I'm a combat climber. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone did time he, him. He why really did he sprinted do it like off that? stage. For the radio, for the listening audience, Joe uh, very inconspicuously tried to sneak <laughs> off stage. Sprinted off stage. <laughs> it's really funny in the coach costume too. Yeah. <laughs> This, uh, uh, this uh, poly, I don't know what material this is, this rubbery rain slicker material is uh, not very breathable. No. I'm discovering. Can't wait for the VIP meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> I um, never want to wear this suit again. Do you, do you want to go first, actually, Ethel? Uh, I, I, you're welcome to. I just thought maybe. No, I, I shouldn't. Okay. I thought you were saying, you're talking about flying away, and I don't want to, I don't want to rain on your parade. I'm like a bird on a fly- What? Yeah, okay, Ethel will go first. Ethel will go first, followed by Suki. Um, I'll go next. Jesus. You Suki, should... get it together, girl. You two should be, should be closer right, together. So you're, I'll you're... go after. What's Hold that on, supposed you're in the wrong to mean? So why, 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 why do we need to be what next is, to each other? What, ta- what, what do you... What? What? Why is this? I'm, is there something you want to say? Are you just, just trying to? Are we, oh. What do you mean? Just in case a tentacle monster or something comes out, it's you should you should be closer together. You take good care of each other, is what I mean. I. Uh, um. What are? You, sorry, sorry. What are you trying to say? Uh. uh. I'll go first. <laughs> All right, so. Ethel, followed by Eris, followed by Suki, followed by Atticus, followed by Aldo, begin climbing down into this dark <laughs> tunnel. <laughs> Solo. You start. <laughs> <laughs> you start descending down the shaft, and around sixty feet down or so, as you guys are just going hand overhand down these spikes that form a makeshift ladder, the tunnel starts to turn an angle towards what you think would be the northeast. 
And as it starts to turn, uh, it also starts to constrict to about three feet wide. Oh. So the minimum width required by the fire code. Oh, yep. <laughs> it's up to code. It's up to code. This you're is a not... New York City apartment bedroom. <laughs> Atticus, you're not actually small, right? You're medium? No, he's small. You're small. All right, yeah. so you... Uh, oh, this is lovely. You're, you're able to uh, fit uh, very easily. So However, the rest of you are like squeezing through this. And as you're squeezing through this very tight tunnel, you feel the walls are like sticky and wet. Uh, there's like green algae uh, coating the walls and you feel water dripping down and you actually can smell in the air uh, up ahead like dampness and rotting vegetation as you climb and Ethel, you're really starting to like fucking squeeze through and you're the first one to see light up ahead. This is the situation here. I'm going to move you to a new map. <laughs> nice ooh. The crowd is a little too silent right now. I feel like they know something we don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I'm not feeling good. They are hanging. I'm <laughs> just afraid. On my every word. Me too. <laughs> All right, this oh man, you guys. You guys are fucking in it. Let me do a reveal here of this situation. Oh my gosh. See that big old room oh. up ahead there? Oh. Let me. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. Down whoa. the walls whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. of this rotten, stinking, enormous chamber trickle rivulets of dark. Oh my God. Murky waters, perhaps the dark murky waters of the Blackwood Swamp far above. A great hole opens up in the center of the room, and even from a distance as you enter onto this little catwalk that stands above it, you can tell that the hole is quite deep. The sound of flowing water fills the chamber. There's a little catwalk sort of running along the southern portion of this chamber, and there are two creatures on the catwalk that see you immediately. Oh, God. And they yell out to their buddies no. who are swinging from chains no. hanging over the middle of the room. Oh, my God. Oh, see, I thought we were going to have to rescue them. Roll for initiative. Let me do a little close-up on these uh, people here. There's the ones on the... Uh, oh, oh, they look sane. They are small creatures. They're about Atticus's height. Um, nasty, nasty looking. And then the ones that are swinging from the chains look like nyah. Aw. Hello. Aw. Hello. I like him. I do like them, yeah. We should help them. Yeah. Yeah, they seem cool. They seem normal. Let's get into it. Suki, what'd you roll? Um, I was so busy looking at that art. Um, come back. Okay, Atticus? 20. 20. Garbage player. <laughs> Eris? 23. 23 for Eris. Ethel? Also a 23. Aww. Aww. It must have been love. <laughs> Aldo, what's your roll? We're all? both ready at the uh, same time. 34. Damn. Four. Fetching. Suki. Uh, 21. 21 for Sooks Magooks. Not great. All right. Round one. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Why, are you still are sad you scared? about the jelly? Are you no. scared we're going to destroy your I'm enemies? I'm going to miss you guys at oh. the end of this combat. Mm. Shut Let's <laughs> go. All right. So there's two of these guys on the catwalk, two swinging from chains. There's a bunch of chains that hang over that hole. So the one way, way on the uh, eastern end of the catwalk. Oh my God, there's so much fun shit to do. I don't know where to start. He's just going to... He's going to go ahead and move 30 feet towards you. <laughs> I'm so frightened. Uh. And... Uh, He's go basically he takes this like javelin 
and just throws it at uh, Ethel, but like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, it has a chain attached to his wrist, and he's like, get over here! He throws this. Get over here! here. Uh, And this is going to be right at you, Ethel. Let's see. Pretty good roll, 32. That hits. Let's go. Uh, All right, so you're going to take a little bit of damage here. You're going to take 11 points. Uh, and it's actually like a blunt end to it, uh, so it's a bludgeoning damage. Eleven points of bludgeoning. It's damage. like a hook shot from the uh, from Zelda. And with its final action, it pulls it back right into its hand. And now it is Aldo's turn. Aldo, so we can't really see where we're actually standing right now, but okay, can you I'll, not I'll, reveal where we are. I'll open it up. Yeah. So, oh boy. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's us. Sitting ducks. Uh, all right, so I'm going to be uh, bold here, and I'm going to stride forward his thin frame moving along the hallway uh, through his compatriots, get up to the front of the line, and I am going to toss a very special bomb. I'm going to throw one of my one of my lightning bombs. Okay. Throw one of those. Oh, wait, yeah. Lightning bomb? At the one up front? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit. That is a miss. All right. So five points of splash damage to the first one. Five splashy. And I'm going to throw a... Oh, God. I'm going to throw a second one. Okay. Yeah, it's another miss. Uh, five more uh, splash damage. Okay. It wasn't a uh, fumble, right? Uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it probably was. So what was no. the total? A l- very low. Okay, very yeah. low. Very low. It will not take any splash damage. Aldo boldly steps up and past, and now leaves himself open as a target for the other one of these creatures, who raises his hand up and shoots a hand crossbow directly at Aldo. Natural twenty. Oh, for oh. God's sakes, Lavalley! Skid's not here, so it doesn't count. Yeah. You have to roll again. Oh, he left. He left. He's going to be so mad what when a he shame. gets back. Yeah, are you sure you want to tell him that way? I'm not I... telling him. You know what? He hit Eris instead. No. no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it won't make you as angry. All right, so this is this is real, real bad. Uh, he's going to take... Not all... a named John. No, not a named John. He didn't get to say his name, so it doesn't matter. I'll tell you guys what he's going to take. He's going to take 28 points of piercing damage. And then I'm going to ask him to roll a fortitude save. And then he's going to fail that save and walk off stage for good. It's real, real bad. Uh, Shit. He has multiple attacks here. But I'm going to shoot you with the hand crossbow. Skid, we'll deal with that damage when he comes back. Now I'm thinking, I think with his second action, he is actually going to... What are you going to... I'm just dancing. It's freaking me out. Stop that. I like getting in your head. It's All distracting right. him. Second... Stop it, man. He's going to... He's going to jump down into the water. Perfect. Our plan worked. He's killing himself. He's going to jump... Jump down into the water. He's small, but you see the water goes up like a little bit past his knee, and he wades back a little bit. And that's the end of his turn. We'll deal with the skid damage when he returns. In the meantime, it is Eris's turn. Oh, okay. Um, I think it might be time for a wall of flesh. Because, because why not, honestly? Okay. Um, now that I see that second one like jump up into the water and that it's like shallow and it can walk on it, I thought it was deeper for some reason. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess, what do you all think? Should I leave the one on the catwalk out of the wall so we can focus on that and maybe block the others? I also, sure. <laughs> I also sure. <laughs> I have a I have a spell I wanted to do that can hit multiple targets in a line, but I okay. can I can save that because you can dispel the wall, right? No. Nope. 
you have to go around the wall. Tactically, this is but tricky. maybe the wall will make them kind of line up to go around yes. it. Yes. Let's resolve what happens to Aldo to just to see if this changes your uh, choice of what you want to do, Aldo. Uh-huh. While you were busy, uh-huh. you took twenty-eight points of piercing damage. <laughs> And I need you to roll a you, fortitude save. Do you want to just go back to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to spend the night in the bathroom. <laughs> Leave the uh, wine. That's a 20. Oh. So 28 points of piercing damage. Then you're going to take... Oh, no five points of poison damage and your clumsy one. You've been infected by a poison. That sounds bad. Yeah. (laughs) You are poison. Shit. Now, what would you like to do, Eris? Meat wall. Um, Meat wall. I'm going to cast a wall of flesh, which is 20 feet tall and 30 feet long in a line and three feet thick. Um, All right. All I'm right. Jeez. And Earth. I wanted to go from the edge of the catwalk um, over one left. Nope. Up one. Nope. Up one. Uh, over one. Stop. To, nope. <laughs> Le- to the right one. Stop. To the left. Where do you two want hops left? this time? Do you want it to block you guys? So you no, 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 no. You mean no. to the right? Come on, up now, two. Y'all. Up two. Up two. Like Jeez. up here? Oh, no, stop diagonal moving. Slide to the left. In the square. You want it in, in, the, in floating in midair? In the water. Oh, you want. Okay. Because I want to be able to still walk on the catwalk. I want to, like, funnel these guys if they want to come to us. The catwalk's, like, 15 feet up over the water. Actually, I think it's 20 feet up over the water. He jumped 20 feet down and didn't take any damage. 20 feet down. And wasn't prone. Yeah. Really. A tiny creature jumped 20 feet down and was fine. Yeah. You can do it, too. But I'm just saying, putting that meat wall in the water doesn't really help you at all. How tall is it? It's 20 feet tall. Pissed. Okay. It doesn't help us. It's not going to help you. It's not. Can she affix the meat walls to the catwalk? Where is the meat wall? Like, does it go on the line between squares, or does it inhabit a full square? It's three feet thick. She said it very salaciously. You don't remember? Well, where, where does it say it goes? Because um, some of the wall spells say exactly... 20 foot what... tall wall of living flesh in a straight line up to 30 feet long. The wall is three feet thick, and each five foot long section has an AC... Uh, so it, it doesn't say. It doesn't like specify that. So it probably uses that. up squares. Okay. Yeah. And what do you mean it doesn't function if I put it down there? Like it's still. Oh, it blocking. functions, but like it's they're... twenty feet tall. So the, guys the catwalk that are is twenty yeah, feet Yeah, it's high. just making like an extra catwalk. It's just making like the catwalk a little wider. But the guys that are hanging are like above. That. Yeah, they're above. They're like forty feet yeah. above the water. Also, also, how tall is the tiny creature? Uh, I don't know. Four. Four and a half feet tall. Jesus. So it would have to then climb up the wall, though, to move away. I'm telling you, it's not gonna, it's not gonna help you okay. at all there. Yeah, you're just, you're all you're doing by putting it there, for example, you're just making the catwalk a little wider, meat with meat. <laughs> I had a nickel for every time. <laughs> um, if anything, it's an improvement. All right, get, what, get rid of my wall. I don't know what you put on the screen right there, but that's not a meat wall, and I'm not putting it up anyway. So it's please baloney. delete it. Um, we're all bunched up here, but I don't want to get in front after seeing Aldo be hit. Get that three foot thick meat out of my <laughs> sight. Get that meat out of my Play sight. Play it time. Um, I want to understand more about these creatures. Can I roll something so that I know yes. what they're weak to? The yes. ones that yes. yeah, shot the poison, not the ones hanging from chains. I don't even care okay, about them. Okay, they look to be of the same ilk. Okay. But go ahead. Give me, what do you want to roll here? Occultism. Yeah, sure. Okay. Is it helpful if I roll occultism? Yeah. This fucking guy. Um, ooh, uh, it's a big addition again. That's a 38. 38, you see these little pale blue humanoid looking creatures, bulging white eyes, crazy mustaches, white hair, four fingers on their hands. Uh, they're creatures known as Daros. Oh, Daros. Daros. These are like descendants of Fae that live Fuck. below ground. Wow. So they're like. These are from first edition D&D Monster Manual 2, I think. Wow. Wow. It's going so, way back, chapter and verse. So since I know what they chapter are, do I know verse. like what they're weak towards or any abilities or 
whatever. Um, you know that creatures such as this are vulnerable to sunlight. Uh, maybe one of your companions has a sunlight uh, spell. No. Um, I don't. But yeah, no, they're uh, they're nasty creatures. They can usually cast spells as well as uh, being pretty nasty with their uh, attacks. We don't know any like immunities or resistances. K rolled the check. I asked that though. I know. What are they weak to? They're immune to confusion. They're immune to confusion. Wow. Vulnerable Focused to minds. Immune to on confusion. these little weirdos. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Um. Cool. So that's one action, and I guess my second action is, um, let me see, should I keep more eyes on you, uh, Ethel? I, I have a feeling I'm just gonna, they're gonna start shooting spells and have they're more crossbow bolts at us, and it may not be a flanking situation anymore. Um, I do think I'll end up in the water, though. Do they look, like, beefy, like they have a lot of hit points? Um, they're a little beefy. They they're look pretty beefy. fit. Okay. Pretty fit Darrow's. They're swinging from chains, a couple of them. One dude just jumped down, didn't take any damage. I reach out my gross little hand. Okay. And I'm going to cast on the one still on the catwalk in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, please make a fortitude save. Fortitude save for that guy. You got it. That is going to be a two. bad roll. 20. Fail. Ooh, Ooh, fail. Yeah, bad, bad um, roll. That's a regular fail. It's not a crit. But um, with that, you grow two blisters. Oh. Oh, you showed me. Two gross <laughs> little blisters on your skin. They just pop up full of pus, no. and you're like, Ugh. No, I moisturize. <laughs> Who the heck is that? Or whatever, however you talk, if you talk. All right, so they just grow blisters? That one grows two blisters, and that's all that happens for now. It's a real inconvenient situation. I'm, I'm curious to see the mechanical effect. In the meantime, <laughs> he's like, no, no. I'm, re I'm really excited for what's going to happen. No! It is Ethel's turn. Ethel. Ethel's Al You see Aldo up. is suffering. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I, I, I feel his pain. I stride up to him, and I will double slice uh, the fellow that's still on the catwalk. Okay. Stride right up to that dude for a little double slice. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a 31 on the Warhammer. That is a hit. And a natural 20 on the hatchet. Oh! Critical threat. Critical threat. Critical threat. Critical threat. Gross. Absolute beast. I'll give you the Warhammer. That's going to be 31 points of bludgeoning oh. and three points of cold. Jeepers. Okay. Yikes. And okay, then, let's kick it over to Todd G. from Forest Park, Hi, Illinois. Todd G. Hi, Todd. Any chance? Todd, you Todd. piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that didn't sell this shit. Yeah. Right. That, yeah. Todd Yell at him. Eight. He's not here. Todd and his eight friends. Homemade Pepsi Woes. Yeah. Let's go. Thanks, Todd, my boy. Are you shitting me, O'Brien? Are you shitting me right now? Did you now? do a fumble? I fucked it up. <laughs> Did you do it? Did you do a fumble? fumble? Turn in your whistle. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Rip it off of you. Sorry, it's sir. fine. Todd's not here anyway. What's the call? What's the call when they do the Mr. Banks and when you cat you're the cashier, Joe? Who's his whistle? Break his whistle strap across your leg. Okay. <laughs> this one from Todd G in Forest Park. Hey. <laughs> All right, we have Todd. a great system. We have a great system. Fastest John in the Weast. <laughs> At least you know he listens to the show. He We're is so definitely a fan. <laughs> We're so dumb. Your lightning fast moves cause double damage and give you another action this round. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. That is yeah, so it. amazing. Totally redeemed himself. Why couldn't Suki get that? She just wasted. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even go yet. <laughs> Oh no. All right, 25 points of slashing damage. Shapers! And then, because I get the extra action. Did you did you roll extra dice? Yeah. Okay. Did we not do that? No, I we roll and double. You, you double, oh, I yeah. Forget. First time plan. 
No, you can do either. You have to decide. I forget what no, we decided. Can't. We decided yeah. we roll in yeah. the dull, but it doesn't matter. Just letting everybody know. I we mean, know the rules say up. that you double it. But. I don't remember. Um, anyway, I get the extra extra action so I can flense you. No. Yeah. Oh, huge! That extra action's huge. <laughs> the flensman. So you are going to take one d8 persistent bleed damage oh, per sh- weapon damage die of the weapons you use that has the most damage dice. So two, it's going to be two. I assume you don't count the crit. 2d8. 2d8 bleed. Bleed. You are flat footed. You're dead. And any resistances to any physical damage types are reduced by five. And don't forget, you have two annoying blisters. Yeah, don't don't forget. (laughs) Not to mention those blisters. What a horrible day for this guy. (laughs) He was just working down in his sludge. He was (laughs) minding his business in an ancient acid slosh sewer. (laughs) Next He's just thing doing you know. his job. Flinched! <laughs> I suppose you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> With these blisters. I want to hear this guy's story. Are you done? Yes. I'm going to mess you up, Capitacaza. <laughs> you, personally, not your character. You want to go? <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> All right, let's go. One of the dudes on the chain. Oh, dude, I don't like these chain guys. No, it's going to be bad news for what all of What do they no. do all day? They what do they do before this purpose? combat? I think it's their way of ma- getting pr- across. That They're... can't be the most efficient way. It's a chain gang. <laughs> You're uh, a Darrow. The one on the far john. Further away. A little, little bit to the uh, east. He is like swinging. 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 Three actions. Done. That's his turn. <laughs> yep. That's his turn. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> Man, you really got caught on the flavor turn there. Uh, he is going to shoot six magic missiles at you. Oh, shit. Wait, at who? Me. Uh, Ethel. <laughs> uh, you're going to take three points of damage. You're going to take five points of damage. You're going to take four points of damage. You're going to take five points of damage. Are you keeping track of these? 17. Four points of damage. 21. Five points of damage. You're rolling rocks. And yeah. two points of damage. Oh, that was a crap one. Uh, 28 points of damage. You see him using his arms as he's swinging to shoot six missiles at you. Holy shit. That, uh, that hurt. Unerring missiles, and now it is Suki's turn. Okay. Um, you hear from the skies, from the heavens, and she casts Lightning Storm. There you go. So you see what? over uh, to Swingy John number one, uh, you see these dark clouds start to form. And in a 20-foot burst, these clouds are all over. They actually get every single dude in it. What? You, uh... But that doesn't really matter because I only get one lightning bolt this round. So I'm going to strike it at uh, the John swinging. All right, so... Uh, you, you do have to see the location that you're casting to. Can you move so, up and two action cast? Yeah, I could. Because you're Just in a dark, why are you to stop all that action, Joe? You're in a dark tunnel staring I made a, at Eris's I like made really cool noises with my mouth. Um, yep, I'll just squeeze through past That's Aldo. That's our slogan on the network. <laughs> <laughs> I made really cool noises with my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Who needs Foley work and who needs all your music when I'm going... Okay. Uh, so now I cast it, okay. and I'm gonna send a lightning bolt at the guy swinging. You have to make a reflex. All right, so basic. Uh, uh, sorry, you can't. I'm sorry. Isn't it? Doesn't it? Say? Oh fuck my ass! <laughs> Stop looking Sydney. at my screen, Sydney. You are betrothed. <laughs> We're in church. You are a lady now. <laughs> what if your fiance was listening? <laughs> your forfeit your dowry. What would happen if your fiance heard this? <laughs> he does listen. Sorry, I said that. Um, <laughs> can I not goodness. see? Sorry, from where I was standing before, behind Aldo, can I not see? From where you were standing down in the tunnel, you, you can't were behind see anything. Eris. Tits. If you mo- <laughs> if you move in front of Aldo, you can see all of them. Yeah, that was a. She doesn't have to see the target. She has to see where she's casting the center of the spell. Right, That's right, true. right. So I don't know if you can reach with the edge of the twenty feet. In it's a-, a three action, John. If I move at all, I can't cast that. Okay, I'll just change it up. But I think you can. Do you see the arrow I put on there? Let me look. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I, I see, see what arrow. you're saying. That should you should be able to do it from where you are. But you didn't start there, right? So hold on, hold on, never stop. I was here. 
<laughs> so I could cast it. Fine. To like here? To like, but it wouldn't get the last guy, but it might get the It doesn't matter. Can I, cast it, can I cast it here where I'm pinging? No. Uh, no. No? Okay. Can but I cast can, it here? You can do it here, and that should get all of them. Does it also get Ethel? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It's just an area, and then I shoot a lightning bolt within the area. I can Got choose it. the target. So that's fine. I will, ca- I will not move. I will cast Lightning Storm at this spot, okay. Katoing, and I'm going to cast a lightning bolt down at Chain Guy number... But you can't see. <laughs> Dude, I, like, police yourself. You cannot see the target. She does. She only needs to see where the center of the clouds go. Is okay, it a fine. sentient she's cloud? Targeting. Fine. I'm going to cast it. The one that's I'm going to cast it at Ethel. the one in front of Ethel then. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good. You're right. You're right. I'm just angry. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the game. <laughs> Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Um, t- uh, basic reflex. Please. I'm mad at both of you. For your little tiny guy on the on the dock. All right. My little tiny guy. It's going to be so funny when he passes it. doesn't matter. Yep. All that. That's the glass cannon way. All right, so this piece of shit is going to roll a reflex save here. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it's hot. So fucking sweaty. It's so right. hot. It's so hot. <laughs> here we go. Uh, <laughs> my God, what a waste of time. 35. Jesus. Yep. Yep. So that's a f- that's a f- that's a success, but it's not a critical success. Okay. So you'll take half damage. Let me just roll. Um, one great. second. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. The cool thing about this spell is, okay, so that's going to be half of 25. 12. Thank you. And it's going to stay out there. So the cool thing about this spell is I'll, I can sustain it, and I can cast another lightning bolt next round. So that's it. You take the 12, and that's my whole turn. Thrilling. <laughs> Thank you. Now... You can interrupt Joe's turn as much as you'd like. <laughs> Thank it's you. His turn. Okay. Really lean into it, too. I right. encourage you. Wait, is it really I'm my turn? like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> it is your turn. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case... I think you should heal everyone. <laughs> second the music ends. <laughs> gotcha. We just don't make up the rules as we go. Oh, man. You're such a dad. <laughs> You'll be one day. <laughs> a dad? She'll You'll be a dad. dad. Yeah, knowing her fiance, she'll be a dad. I get big dad energy. You'll be a dad All right. one day. Uh, I'm going to. Atticus is going to boldly as Aldo. Taking Aldo's. Uh, Boldness, uh, as he's going to move out into this scene so he can see the whole thing. Uh, and <laughs> so that he can see anyone he wants to target with a spell. <laughs> and then why let's you, say... Why don't you just say... Ice cold. Ice cold. Just say your silly little spell. Just roll your silly little die. I feel like I'm in a sauna and I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> These turns take so sweaty. Whoa! I'm sweating so much. I just started. Uh, all right, he's going to step out into this area. I step out of this area. <laughs> that makes it longer, sorry. You're right. The one that uh, the one that jumped down into the muck. Yep, Jenny Meyer. McGee. That one. He will target. Okay. He's going to say, "I don't know what it is you fear, but uh, it doesn't matter." For the chain of knights will work its own will upon you. And this darkness comes into Atticus's mind. He projects an image of such evil at this creature that it may just kill him where he stands. He's going to cast Phantasmal, Phantasmal Killer. Killer. Yeah. Phantasmal Killer on that first guy. Uh, yeah. it, is, it is a will save. All right, so casting it on Jumpy McGillicuddy. Will so say. It's a named creature. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so he is named uh, 29. 29. Fantastic! <laughs> that is a fail. Okay. Walk me through it. Uh, okay, you take 24 points of mental damage. Nice. What does he see? What does this creature fear? 
What comes the sun. at him? The sun? <laughs> yeah, just like that one day he climbed to the surface <laughs> for the first time. And was like, what is that beautiful light? Oh, it hurts! It hurts so much! I take 15 damage for every hour I'm exposed to it! Wow. That's kind of irrelevant in an encounter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, really irrelevant. Uh, man, that was 8d6, and that included four twos and a one. Oh. Uh, all right, so 24 points of mental 24 damage. 24 points of mental damage. And he is frightened, too. Oh, nice. wow, that's good. All right, so knock, knock him down a peg, and the, yeah, that is Atticus's turn. One remaining combatant that has not gone this round. And it's the first one that is swinging on the chain, who reaches out a hand towards Atticus. I hate you so much with your six magic missiles. Get out of my face! <laughs> oh, they're not magic missiles. Roll a will save. Are you John and my John right back at me? Oh, I am. Oh! Well, I like these guys. I, I don't like think that's going to be guys. true in five minutes. Mm. Give me that sweet, sweet, soaking wet will Dude, save. what die? This is a big one. This is a big one. I'm going to roll the die that always fails. <laughs> <laughs> this is the die. He this right. is the Lork charging Kargik die. Wow. Whoa. I bring it. I bring it wow. to every what is, show. What is the table only roll with you? It's important. He literally rolled a nat twenty on a different die before we started. He went, "Oh, that never happens." And now you're not choosing that die. I'm looking at the natural five right now, Chicago. <laughs> this has burned you. Let's see if she can turn it all around. Shot town, Joe. Guys, shot town, Joe. We got this. We got this. Come on, Atticus! You are strong of will! Natural four! <laughs> what did you expect? This goddamn die has not rolled so anything but single digits in two years. Throw that die away. He keeps it with all his other die in a bag. He curses him over and over and one over. One day, one day he will make his turn. <laughs> That is a 22 will save. Fail. Not a critical fail. That Not is a the critical key. fail. What are you cooking what? up over there? His lips He's all sweat. He's relishing in His upper like lip is the so anticipation. I hate it. He reaches out towards you. And you feel like your mind is like twitching and you just hear a little voice in your head that says, come to the ladder. I want to show you something. And you immediately start walking towards the ladder at the end of this catwalk that ends in a pit. You just failed at suggestion. Oh. Who's clapping in the back there? <laughs> Security! And he says... <laughs> Can't see shit. <laughs> but you look cool. He just says, come on down the ladder. I want to show you something. He speaks American? Yes, he speaks American. <laughs> Come on down the ladder. I want to show you something. It will last for one minute or until you complete that suggestion. Oh, oh. no. I'm going to think of a thousand flavor ways so to break this. So he doesn't move yet. No. It says immediately, but... So on his turn. On your turn, yeah. Okay. Oh, dear. Round two. <sighs> it is one of the Darrow's turns. Let's see which one it is. Number two, which one is he? Which one is he? Is he the one that jumped? No. Yes, he is the one that it's jumped. It's the one that threw the... No, yeah. it's, I that? think he walked up. No, no, he walked up through and pulled. Yeah, so no, it's the one here right next to Ethel. He's flat-footed, he's bleeding, 
but he's right next to Ethel. There's so much fun shit I can do. All right, he is going to uh, attempt an athletics check. What? What did you say? What did you say? Uh, he's going to try and grab you. Okay. So I, what is that against your... Athletics is that, DC? Is it athletics DC? That, am I right about that? Might be 4-2 four four, DC? I think it's 4 DC, yeah. 4-2 DC, okay. Um, let's try this. Fuck. Yeah. 27. <laughs> Miss. Yeah! Ethel! Okay. Want to try again with the map? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, he is going to... He's going to uh, do this... Oh, man, this is so fucked up. He's basically going to do this thing called tumbling attack with his final two actions. He's going to move through your space without triggering a reaction. And when he does this, you're flat-footed until the end of his turn. And then he is going to try and strike you with this, like thing he has in his hands, the thing that he uh, threw at you and pulled back. He's just going to try and uh, smack you with it. So wait, d- he tumbles through for free? Tumbles through for free. Well, it's, two, it's a two-action John. So he strides up to his speed, goes through, doesn't trigger a reaction. So is he going past Ethel, between Ethel yeah, and Yeah, past Ethel. Ethel. I'm going to do that in a second. Uh, but with the map, this is going to be a 31. That hits. Shit. All right, so now he's right next to Atticus. And he hits you with this thing. It's not terrible. Just a little bit of bludge dam. It's going to be 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And that's the end of his turn. No, it's not. He takes 2d8 bleed. All right, I'll roll the flat check. Natural 20, wasted. But you still take the bleed this turn. I still take the bleed, yeah. Uh, Eight points of bleed. Eight points of bleed. Damn, natural 20. He remains flat-footed. And now it is Aldo's. Does, uh, yes, he does. Remove one. It is Aldo's turn. Uh, Aldo, you have this poison running through you. I don't know if that takes the beginning of your turn or the end. Let's take your turn, and then we'll see how you do with this poison. All right. I am going to throw a blight bomb at the guy I just tumbled through. Okay. Uh, t- 28. 28 is a hit. Okay. Get him. This I'm might not even giving finish him a him bonus up. to his AC where Atticus is a small creature. So uh, that's yeah, and I ignore, because of my alchemist goggles, I ignore lesser cover anyway. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, so that is uh, that is 10 points of poison damage. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, ooh, and 8 points of persistent poison damage. Oh, no, wait, 15 points of att- damage on the attack and then eight points of persistent damage. Okay, persistent poison? Yep. All um, right, this guy's right. got, well, he had bleed, but now he is no longer Lost bleeding, the bleed, but, but he's now poisoned. he's poisoned. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to throw a bottled lightning. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a 30. 30, that's a hit. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's 16 points of electricity damage. Jeepers. Light and this guy up. He's flat-footed. I should have done this first. He's flat-footed until uh, the beginning of my next turn. Okay, so that'll extend the flat-footed a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm just going to, with my third axe, I'm going to throw a little alchemist fire, a little teeny, teeny boy. little teeny. He's clumsy, but he's still hitting left uh, and right. And he's flat-footed. Uh, that's a team, that's uh, 25. 25 is a miss. Uh, so he takes five points of splash. Now give me a fortitude save. Uh, that's a 21. Oh. You move on to stage two oh, of shit. this poison, where you take nine points of poison damage and now become clumsy two. Oh, jeez. As this venom courses through your veins. Do you have any means to address this? Suki! Fix this! Suki! 
Not a cleric. Can't. Not a cleric. Not a cleric. All right. Who needs a cleric. It is the <laughs> waste of time. The one that jumped down's turn. The exactly. one that jumped down is going to fire uh, his crossbow. Oh no! At Ethel. Uh-oh. Shashonk. Fuck. Yes. Twenty-six. Miss. Uh, nice. Even flat-footed. Balls. All right. Reload action. I'm gonna fire again. Natty nineteen. Still not great. Uh, that would actually, no, that's a 35 to hit with the map. Oh, yes, Whoa. that hits. A couple things are going to well, happen. It's not crit great. No. First thing that's going to happen is you're going to take almost maximum 14 points of piercing damage. Give me a fortitude save. Okay. Jinx, 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 uh, jinx, 25. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is that, is that a success? <laughs> Yes. It counts as a crit success Great for me. Success. Well, oh. then you're really safe. You'll live forever. That's what that means. It is Eris's turn. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Tell me about these blisters. Oh, you want to know about the blisters? That's funny He's because... just staring down at his hand. What the fuck <laughs> are these? As she's trying to... you know, As that... Is she, he, they? Gross. As they're trying to mess with my party... Um, I point out, you know, it's a great episode for my creepy hands. Point out my creepy hand. And one of the blisters up on maybe the back of your shoulder pops. Oh, gross. It so pops. disgusting. And it does 7d6 acid damage. Whoa. Sorry, I thought you said 7d6. <laughs> it does it in a cone, though. What? Does it affect the creature that it's on? Oh, for God's sake. Wait, wait. wait. What? Wait. <laughs> it's a cone explosion of a blister? Yeah. What? Who does it hit? It seems like it hits everyone around them. It's like an exploding well, blister. Well, no, I mean, I can, like, not, I can have it. You can direct the direct cone it. of the blister explosion? Direct it out. Are you a god? The other guys. <laughs> listen, listen. I can pop a blister, the target, and each creature in a 15-foot cone originating from the target takes 76 acid damage. Basic fortitude save. You could point, you could, if you can, you could point it at the water. All right, yeah, I would, I I would say you up. can hit the other guy down here. Yeah. Oh, I can? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, it's that's 15 fine. feet. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's going down, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> why is uh, everything so you, you guys, do gross? Yeah. They both... Oh, you choose the direction of the cone. Oh, I do. Yeah. 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 Which, however, it can include the target. But it says that the target and each creature in a 15-foot cone take the damage. All right, so the target and his buddy are both going to take the, 76 damage. Do with they get the a basic re- fortitude save. They so both get a fortitude. Oh, it's gross. So the guy down there is just gets covered in this gross boiling oh. pus. Oh. First fortitude save, natural two. Yeah. That's going to be an 18. Second one, 23. Do I compare that to my spell DC? Yes. Uh, fail. And then what was the first one? 18. Uh, extra fail. <laughs> Extra uh, crit fail. fail. Is it a crit? I don't know if that matters. Oh, it does matter. Well, no way, it doesn't matter. Wait. It's a basic. It does? It's double it's damage. Oh, double shit. Damage. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm married. I'm just kind of, I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> I'm married. Um, okay, so the one that 76 doesn't... times 2 to the one on the John, and then 76 straight. So just roll 76. So the first one takes... 24 times 2. 48. 48. 48. And he dies immediately. Yes! 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 And the other guy will take 24 points of damage. Awesome. From um, shit. wild pus. He still has one more blister on him. He's dead. I know, but I can still pop the blister and hit it in a cone at the guy on the bottom. That is so, so true. gross. So true. So and I yet so true. do that. Roll another fortitude save if you want. All right. Don't cheer for her. <laughs> I was just flirting with the 31. crowd. 31! That was me flirting with the crowd. Stop flirting um, with the crowd. Just hitting them all in the forehead. You're married. Stop. 31 oh, from that right. fortitude save. Uh, pass. So okay, that means so you half take damage. half damage. Wait, wait, wait. Slow it 
down oh a notch. God, Coach. Here comes uh, Debbie Coach. Downer. Oh, Coach, Debbie. What? Basic fortitude save. Pass. Get it? Yep. Half so damage. Half damage. Um, he's frightened too. Oh! oh. What does that mean for the first one? Well, well, well. Uh, the first one, it didn't matter. It was a, still a fail, not a crit, crit fail, but this might be make it a fail. Oh, okay. What is your DC? Is it 20? 29. Nine. Then that's a fail. Woo! <laughs> See, it goes both ways. 21 points of acid damage. That was a good catch, Joe, and in fact, you get a bottle cap. Yeah! yeah! You don't do good things often. <laughs> so I want to give you something. They um, can't see my sad eyes. Consider that <laughs> my wedding gift to Sydney. Hold on. A bottle cap for me? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you, it's the wedding gift to Sydney? You earned, you earned it. Uh, with my final action, um, Still I, going, huh? I can't see anyone in <laughs> Another the room bus. now from where I am. So I want to move up uh, to the space where this guy used to exist. Great. Nice. And doesn't anymore. Stomp on his corpse. Free action. Squish, 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 squish. Stomp with my squish. big boots. You know she wears Doc Martin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a very, very cool round. Uh, so no you bottle just stomp cap, though, on his fine. head and it just... Joe bah! steals my bottle cap. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Patriarchy. So it's very it's a glass ceiling here at the Glass Cannon Network. It's the glass ceiling network. Um, I do all the work, the man gets my bottle cap. The, the, the GCN? The, the GCN. The glass ceiling network. Alright. It's time for a man to go. <laughs> Matthew? <laughs> All we have is Matthew. <laughs> it's the best we have. It's embarrassing you don't know something. Isn't there a flagpole you should be jumping on? Okay. Ethel is going to double move, come around the catwalk. Butta butta butta. To here. Butta butta butta. And with, he has the movement to, and I want to, the second part of my second move, my second stride, I want to jump off the catwalk and grab onto the chain to swing at this other guy. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Let's cool. go. All right, well, that's not just a free fucking jump, bro. No, I assume it's his athletics check. Give me a, uh, it seems pretty acrobatical to me. Acrobatical? Seems a little bit more on the acrobatical end of the Eccles. I don't know. He's leap, not doing a leap, flip. Leap, long jump, and high jump are athletics checks. All right. Yeah. All right, don't. Yeah, but they don't include grabbing a chain. Athletics is fine. I'm going to set the DC right now. Natural 20. Oh! DC doesn't matter. For a total of 41. <laughs> it was DC 42. <laughs> Regular success. Oh, Matthew, so close. So, so close. close. You grab it, but it's nothing special. <laughs> Sorry, right. I I also in the process I dropped my hatchet as I left. So it I lands in the water and goes right into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I hand it to Eris and run and screams <laughs> the entire way. Ah! Um, so right, so you're wa- swinging on the chain. Swing, and I'm hoping the momentum of my jump will allow me to strike this guy at the reach of my swing. Next if time. only you had critically succeeded. Uh, yeah, that's rule of cool. I, I, I'll allow it. That's very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. I would love not to allow it, but it's... My hands are tied. It's very cool. I think that's my turn, though, because that's... I assume that's going to be three acts. All right, so we'll just pause you in midair. <laughs> it's like this... this like, doo, 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 and then he's like this... The, uh, this uh, fellow hanging on the chain just sees a burly gentleman with, wielding a war hammer come flying at him. And then we wait till next round to see what happens. <laughs> All right, it is the other one who is swinging, the one that shot six magic missiles at you. It's his turn. So many cool things he can do. My, my hatchet's right in front of you. 
No, it's the other dude. It's the other one that's swinging. The no, further I'm talking one. to Kate. Okay, I don't care. What? <laughs> Cast a spell on you, oh. Ethel. Oh. Okay. Give me a fortitude save. Bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju. Not great. Ooh. 27. Final answer? Yes. Fail. You got got by the bad juju. 27 is a fail. It's not bad. You're just blinded for one minute. What? I should have cast the eyes. Every time, just cast the eyes. More eyes. When in doubt, eyes. Might make you less blind. You are blinded from one, for one minute, hanging from a chain. What Troy doesn't know is that Ethel is in, this is Ethel's, uh, in his comfort zone. <laughs> All those years training, swinging on chains blindly. Some weird sex dungeon. No wonder you're divorced. <laughs> and then that guy swings to another chain as his final action. We now go to Suki. They don't have to like roll a check to I rolled the catapult check. themselves there. Got it. Jesus Christ. I got a lot going on back here. It's hot. Suki is going to uh, run up and move past Atticus to the north, and I think uh, she kind of looks at Atticus, who looks really weird. Um, <laughs> he, he like walks into her, and she's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop, 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 stop. The ladder stop. Uh, must go. I don't know what you're talking about. Really must go. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> are you drunk? Ladder must go. <laughs> uh, and she's going to sustain one action, her lightning storm spell, and she is going to strike uh, the dude who just cast that on Ethel. Okay. Now that she can see him, Joseph. What is it, a reflex save? Yep. 24. Fail. Failure. All right, full damage. So, full damage. Let me get my online roller. There's so many die. Oh my god. You 27 should, damage. You should always use an online roller. What? What? <laughs> Who said that? Congrats on the engagement. Rude. I'm working. I'm trying really hard. Um, okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to command Pepsi to move. Oh, Pepsi's not on the map. That's weird. All right, there he is right there. He's swinging from a chain. There he goes. <laughs> Pepsi! <laughs> I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes and this motherfucking, motherfucking chain. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Skidmar. Bottle cap! Bottle cap! Bottle cap! Bottle cap! Bottle cap! No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good one. Yeah. Just, no. I'll command Pepsi to uh, go right next to Eris uh, and kind of stand there to protect Eris from... Whoop, what's he doing? He's just <laughs> fucking around. There he He's goes. He's just swinging from chain to chain. <laughs> yep. I taught him that. Woo! All right, so... That's my boy. Pepsi just moves next to Eris. Cool. Yep. That's it. Atticus, it's your turn. I tell you what to do. I would like you to use the full complement of your movement to make the most expeditious route between where you are and the end of this catwalk. Suki. Excuse me. N no. Must go. That seems weird. No? The answer is below. On the ladder. You sound fucked up. What? You sound weird, but I can't see you. He's being, trust me, he's being weird. Ethel, there's nothing to fear. It's down the ladder. I can't see. Ethel. What ladder? There is an answer coming. Someone stop him. The answer to all the questions. Ethel grabs the air in front of him. All this time. Suki blind. does too. He's blind. We've wondered what is behind Mun's influence. Well, I know where to find. You guys, the rat sounds really weird. <laughs> Just mop up here while I'm gone. 
I'll be back shortly. Ethel. And he begins to descend a ladder <laughs> into a fucking pit. Are you reading suggestion correctly? You're not harming <laughs> yourself. You're just following I'm orders. going into something that has, and I yourself. quote, obvious negative effects. Oh. That said, happy to do it. You think this does not break the spell. Well, we will find out. Because as Ethel is swinging blindly from that chain, and Eris is popping boils left and right, Aldo is suffering from a venom which is coursing through his veins, making him clumsy and sick. Suki. We never know what Suki's doing. (laughs) And Atticus just feels compelled in his mind to walk to this ladder and climb down, but you may change your mind because when you get to the end of the ladder and look down, you just see dozens of hands reaching up towards you and smiling. And we'll see you in St. Louis. That's the show. That's the whole show. Thank you so much, Chicago. Thank you, Chicago. Chicago. Thank you, thank Thank you. you. Love the house lights, bring them up.